What's up? What's up? It's the Art the Most Experience with Deke. I'm Art the Most, and that's my main man, Deke. What's good, bro? Man, life is good, bro. Everything is good right now, man. I have zero complaints. Everything is going exactly how it's supposed to be going right now, man. How are you, bro? Uh, excellent. I like it. I like it. Yeah, excellent. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Drippy as always too. Shout out to the flannel. Shout out to the Steelers top. I ride, ride. Hey man, I peep what you got going over here, man. I do what I can. I peep what you uh, got. I see your hat. Congrats on winning the Sun Belt oh. tournament. Salute. Or not the Sun Belt tournament. What, yeah, what are you yeah, in now? Is it yeah, Sun, yeah, Sun Belt? Yeah, yeah. Okay. You know, we, we we took care of business. You know, our ladies, they did everything in their power to lose, and ultimately that was what happened in overtime. Those to salute the ladies. You'll get why in a minute. Deke, we had 30 turnovers for our ladies team, and they lost in overtime by three. Insane. But the guys did take care of business that night, went in by, it was about 30 at one point. But, um, yeah, man, it was good to see my guys punch their ticket officially, not have to do any of the suspense, worry about if the committee would do the justice or would they be one of the stories of how did this happen? So I'm just glad that we're out that situation right now, man. So salute my GMU Dukes. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed, man. Well, I'm firmly in that boat right now. Y'all haven't played yet, though, right? No. Not yet. Not yet. So you got a chance, though. You got a chance. Well, there was one idiot out there that was saying, even if we win this first game for us in the ACC tournament, yeah. this this first game coming after a double bye, may I remind you. you know, right, we're, we're, right, we're right. We're top four seed in the yeah, ACC. Yeah, ACC Fourth tournament. best team in the ACC. He's saying, even if we win this game coming up tomorrow, we might still be on the bubble. They playing with Idiot. y'all. Uh, yeah, they trying to play with y'all, bro. These people are clowns. Like, they trying to play with y'all. Pitt should be locked in. They trying to play with y'all. I don't know whether or not what, what I'm saying right now is, is going to be the fact or not, but what I know about college basketball, if you're the fourth team in the ACC, you should be have in, over 20 period. wins, yeah. get a double bye for the ACC tournament. Yeah, you're in. You are in. <laughs> March yeah. Madness. You yeah. are in. Like there's there's no more like uh, top winner ACC. No. You're in. No. Yeah, yeah you're in. Top you're four in the ACC, tournament. You're in. Beat Duke on the road. Yeah. Beat other ranked teams. Virginia. Like what? Yeah. What else do we got to do here? I feel you, bro. It'd be insane. It'd actually be insane. Hopefully, it doesn't come down to that though. Hopefully, y'all just run the tournament too, and then everything be great. Yeah. Because y'all are definitely capable of that. Yeah. Play your best basketball right definitely now. Definitely capable of it. No, they are. They, they got a good team. They, get, they can hang with anyone. We just got to be playing hot at the right time. And we have been playing hot recently over the last like month or so. We, we laid, laid a stinker or two out there. I think there was a terrible game against Wake Forest. But no, they're, yeah. they're playing some pretty good ball recently. And you see, yeah, because it's Wednesday. I'd say, over so the last, like, I'd say over the last like 10 or 11 games, we've been, we've been playing pretty good. I like it. I like it. So shoot, yo, Thursday or Friday first game? It's tomorrow at two okay, thirty. Ooh, on my birthday! All right, shout out, shout yeah, check it out. out. Okay, okay, okay. I like that. Then. I like that a lot. Yeah, man, can't complain with that. Then uh, my LeBron James forty thousand career points scored T shirt came in today, so that was also like just icing on the cake. Even though I think wifey is trying me in the house, bro, because it just so happened. Of all days to wear a specific shirt, she waited till I was wearing my LeBron 40,000 point shirt to wear a Michael Jordan shirt where he's holding up his rings. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what that was about. She, she acted as if it was accidental. I don't feel like that, though, because I'm just like, you know that this is a Strive for Greatness t-shirt, LeBron James logo on the back. It has his beautiful accolades, the 40,000 points, you know what I'm saying? Everything checks off all the boxes, bro. But it's like, why would you, of all days, you got LeBron stuff. She decided to wear that MJ stuff today. I just, I don't know. Kind of, kind of, it's had me thinking about it a little bit, man. But hopefully, hopefully, you know, it was a mistake. Even I don't believe she made this mistake. Because she's very, very attention to detail. But other than that, though, man, I'm good, bro. Birthday tomorrow, man. So, yeah. Yeah, happy birthday. No, I appreciate you. I'm on the front end of this day, man. It's Like I said, it's a vibe, bro. It's a vibe. I'm just I'm here. It's the last show of a 35-year-old, man. Yeah, let's get it. Drum Bettis year coming up. Then. Yeah, baby. Heck yeah, man. It's be a good time, bro. Be a good time. Unless you can think yeah. of someone else rocking 36 that's I mean, there's, more notable. There's always a 36, but that's the thing. Is it more notable? That's the real question. But I don't know. everybody defines notable differently, so I just leave it at that. You know, tell people that, like, you I don't care about that. You got somewhere in mind? I'm not speaking on that. I'm just saying in general, like, some people look at other 36s like that's the guy. 
I thought Shaq wore 36 at one point. I don't think, you know, I don't <laughs> look at him like that, but he did. He, I think he got a 36. I think I think, think right. he does, bro. Is that the Celtics? Yeah. It was either Celtics or Cleveland. I think it was Celtics, though. He was 36. What place? 37. He yeah, has some state right. numbers, bro. NBA yeah. countdown. Who wore 36 He has some state numbers, best? bro. Shaquille O'Neal's in the mix there. Yeah. He has some state numbers. Listen, bro. for NFL, though, I'm seeing Jerome Bettis as best NFL player to wear 36. I can see that. So in terms of football players, Shout I don't out. think you're going to get someone better than the Good boss. Shout out. And then if it's if it's Shaq in the NBA 36. Yeah, it, 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 it don't hit the same, right? No. Nah, yeah. That's not the same. So it might be the boss. It really might be. I was going to say, yeah, because I haven't looked into, like, baseball or anything like that. Dude, Even ranking hockey, greatest yeah. athletes of all time by jersey numbers. Yeah. Jerome Bettis is there for 36. Greatest athletes. I like athletes. it then, bro. Yeah. So not sports specific. That's across the board. You know you got me wondering now. So there you go. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What you type in? Most famous 36 sports number. Go ahead, type in seven. We got to see it, bro. I'm not. Why? I don't need to. I just wanted to see it. I know the answer. I know my answer, at least. I, I, I don't I don't need to see anyone else's blasphemy on display here. <laughs> Are you concerned? I know someone's going to try to bring up Elway or... No. You haven't even looked. No, I no, I You're know. defeated before you even search it. Because Ben doesn't get the respect he deserves. But I, you didn't I already even know that. search it. Yeah, I don't you I don't need the look. reminder. You that just you just people are idiots. I don't need that today. How do you know? I already got the rem- I, I already talked about the idiot that is saying Pitt might not be in a But how do you game. know unless you actually just I don't need, search it, bro? No, I don't need more idiot takes. Jeez, in, in man. Right I, I don't it's need to witness more. Bro, you am just talking about just put seven just and just blast. Me, seven, bro? Just stupid. I don't need but, to. See but it. what if it confirms that it is seven? What would that mean? I don't need to. <laughs> I don't need to. This is crazy. How you not go search the hobby up, bro? That's crazy. I'm that good. It's crazy. <laughs> no, I already know it's gonna happen. How do you know, bro? Ben's the most disrespected player of all time in the oh, NFL. No, Not only man. the NFL, but maybe across all of sports. It's just hard to confirm that statement when we don't even know. There is a, there is a legitimate chance that it could say Ben Roethlisberger, bro. There is a legitimate chance it could say that. I'm good. You could look it up. Well, you, I, you, you tell me what you see. Man, they bringing up Carmelo Anthony. He was Get in the seven. Come they bring it up Vic. They bring it up Elway. Ronaldo. No. Cristiano Ronaldo wore seven. Oh, overrated. <laughs> Let's go. Let's checked go. in the big moments. <laughs> Let's go. Stole a lot of money. That's all. That's it. We would never know if you know. Just, just, just. Yeah. Nah, we're good. <laughs> like, like I said, you could look it up. Yo, hey, DD Sports brought up Mickey Mantle. Yo, that's a name. Shout out, golly. All right, football geek says Ronaldo, Mickey Mantle, and then Big Ben. So there you have it. He's the number one football guy. That's a plus. That's a positive. Yeah. yeah, he's definitely the number one football guy. Yeah, so yeah, here you go. I mean, I just hate that you are so nervous to pull up. To just what if it confirmed that that was your guy? I just that's I'm all. I'm not man. nervous at all. I you, just you seem know real what nervous. I just know what it's gonna be and your don't whole, have time for that. Look, in my when life when right you now. looked at it, and you was about to type it in. Like your whole the way you were eager about thirty six, seven was just like y'all didn't want that. It was crazy because you were like fishing for 36. I saw you look. I'm like, yo, all right, let's, let's I was, go, man. I like, was I'm legitimately curious, though. curious. But then it made me curious. I'm I like, know about the number seven. Well, who are they going to say? Like, I'm I really. Told you, I was genuinely Definitely curious. Elway. You and think Elway? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ben doesn't get the same respect that Elway has amongst NFL circles. Why is that? So then I can only imagine how they, they'll, they'll be talking about Mickey Mantle well, and Ronaldo. So it's fine. It's fine. It's whatever. Oh, my gosh. You just never know, bro. You never know. You never know. No, I know. I don't, I don't need to look at it. It's fine. Just never know. It could say seven. It could say Ben, bro. Maybe it should. Day. But the, the the most diehard Ben supporters, I don't know. It seems like you're nervous about it, bro. No, I just know hey, enough man. ball. I know enough about like the media and how it works and <laughs> how a bunch of these clowns uh, don't know what they're talking about. That's... For sure. That's what I know. Because I see Chess Piece. Chess Piece says Elway, then Vic, yes, then sir. Ben. That's yes, how he sir. went with it. Yeah, I was like, okay, that's that's different. El Moranich says Elway, Ben, then Joe Theismann. Yeah, I'm not, okay. I'm not, like I said, I'm not really okay. in the mood. <laughs> For 
For sure. For sure. For sure. Either way, I say it would have been seven. So it would have been good, bro. But uh, I know that's not true. What? What, what you mean? You don't. Be- you, you took Vic over, Big Ben. That's in because our, Vic, in our is, seven Vic is from the crib. Like, it's, number seven. Listen, Vic, Vic, Vic is seven. from the crib. So this is very different. Like, you grew up, you watched Seven as a Steeler, but you did it like, grow up watching Seven since you was a little kid. Like, everybody from the 7 5 been knowing about Vic since he was at Warwick High School, bro. Like, he's been the man, man, for a long time, bro. We've been watching this dude. Tyrod Taylor the same way. Why do you think I'm a big fan of Tyrod? Shout out to the two for 18 he just got, but he was like the second, well, actually, he was the third guy because it was Mike Vic, then he Marcus got 18 Vic. Million for two, two for years. 18, yeah, to go to the Jets. Stay oh, in the my. same spot, never have to move, bro. Wow. Yeah. Nice, bro. He does his job perfect, and he did it this year when he's called upon, bro. Yeah, that's what I love yeah. about some of these QB deals. Does that his are job happening. perfect, you see bro. Tyrod getting nine per year. Yeah. I think what's Sam Darnold getting? Shoot, Sam got a nice check. He's he getting like, is it five or is it ten? Well, I saw Garner mention Garner he's got, getting double digits. Yeah, I want to say down with, uh, the Sam, Raiders. Sam went to Minnesota, right? I think it was one for yeah. ten. One for ten, I thought. I think so. Too. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why I'm thinking five, but. Yeah, yeah I, got, that's what I love about seeing all these quarterback yeah. deals right now uh, and then comparing it to what we got Russell Wilson for. Hence it's, the reason why good. when everybody was trying to talk about why you don't do this deal, we're just like, what are we talking about? When, like you just said, Sam Darnold, Gardner Minshew, and Tyrod Taylor are getting triple that in, t- in some cases, man. It's like, man, this ain't even Yeah, the only close, rebuttal, the like, only rebuttal was stuff that me and TG brought up. Like right, right. the effect of bringing in Russell Wilson here, potentially like that power type of play. And right. Just what type of energy he might be on. Correct. Yeah. But he said he's willing to come in here and compete. He's humbled. He's taking the vet men. Like the spot isn't guaranteed yeah. to him at all. He's literally and you're checking getting that every guy box you milk. want. Like, it, yeah. It's tough to argue. Like, you can't really argue it at all. Yeah. You can't. <clears throat> I like it though, bro. I like it. But yeah, man, it's a vibe today, man. Because like I said, we done traded, we done signed, we got imports and exports going, baby. So you know we got plenty to react to. We got our crazy cousin TG. I know. He on the uh, line with us today. Jacob Malesio, yeah. he's throwing a party today. Jacob's throwing a party. Oh yeah. What, did Deontay get in traded? Oh, all right. he's loving life. Good. Okay. He's the dude that called in and said, remember, like a couple years ago, and said we man. we just need to cut Deontay. You, I, man, everybody be running together sometimes. I, when you said Jacob, I was thinking about John. He's I'm like, dang, I thought John liked Kenny. I'm so confused. Yeah, uh, you're right, though. You're right. Respect, respect, respect. Yeah, you remember that? Respect. I think this was coming respect. off of Deontay's Pro Bowl year. He's like, I, just, hey. I think we just need to cut him. Hey. And I was like, wait, at least trade him for something, right? He's like, no, cut him. No, nah, respect message. on that. Respect on that. So I guess that take kind of aged somewhat well, in a way. I want to know, how do we classify aging well? <laughs> Well, one of the reasons the Pro Bowl is here two years ago, well, bro. One of the reasons they were saying we got rid of Deontay <laughs> was some of the headaches and the culture fit. And my, stuff. my thing is this though: to project something two years in advance is that really like that'd be like me saying, "Hey, you know, TJ go, he gonna be off this roster in a couple years, bro. One day TJ gonna be off this roster." It's like, yeah, well, bro. <laughs> it's two years fair, later. Of course he gonna fair. be off. Like, come on, bro. I mean, all I'm saying is if I'm gonna get some credit for me doing the Steeler Nation, <laughs> let's ride and predicting the Russell Wilson move. I think Jacob Malesio should. Get some credit for did you, us. Did you say you predicted Deontay. the Russell Wilson move? Uh, some people are saying that. They're saying me doing that Steeler Nation Let's Ride aged very well. It was foreshadowing. And I didn't even know it. <laughs> Y'all play by different rules, bro. It's good. It's good. <laughs> What's so funny? I just, I'm learning the rules. Y'all just play by some different rules, man. Yeah, That's I mean, all. I think, yeah. I think people are just joking yeah, a little bit. But, I love it. I love it. Yeah, uh... Listen, he, he said he didn't think he was a fit. Ultimately, like, Jake Molesky said he wasn't fit. Now, I do think you trade a dude when you can get some value for him instead of cut him, but I, he took the more extreme approach, but I think the essence of what he was trying to say took place somewhat. Like I said, y'all play by different rules. All good, bro. It's all good. I like it, though. I like it. But what you got on your mind today, man? Do we got a deep thought to start us out, or we hopping uh, right into this I could. thing? It's up to Because we you. got action, action. It's up to you. I could. Give us one real quick. Then. What's okay. up, bro? What's up, bro? I'm get, get a deep to... thought real quick, bro. It's, my last, it's the last show before, before 36, okay. bro. You know what I'm saying? Let me at least go out with a bang. I don't man. know if you know about this. I don't know either. Y'all hit that like button one time. I tell you, I'm going to be 36 tomorrow. This is crazy. I'm getting a year older. 
All right, Deke. So you know who Ted Williams is? He sounds familiar. Do you know anything about him? He said he sounds familiar. Okay, so he's like, yeah. he's a baseball legend. Right. Played for the Red Sox way back. I think like 40s, 50s. Sounds familiar. I, think I don't know of, everything, honestly, but he sounds familiar. he might be still considered the greatest hitter of all time. He was no. the only player to hit 400 in a single season. Respect. But then all of his other seasons are crazy good, too. Respect. Respect. So he, uh, he passed away back mm. in 2002. Okay, okay. And was decapitated by surgeons at the cryonics company where his body is suspended in liquid Ooh, nitrogen bro. and time several on. samples of his DNA are missing. Sports Illustrated so, reported. Deke, time on, Deke. Deke, Deke. Did you, did you Basically, see his, uh, his body's frozen into two pieces. Now, he, he wanted this. <laughs> he they, wanted this upon death. Did they decapitate dying. him before he was frozen? Or or did it accidentally happen? That's what... Cause, I don't know. Exactly. That's what, yeah. I was like, so here it is. To, all right. Uh, oh, oh, oh man, I wasn't ready for this one. Deep. It took a real dark turn. I like it though. Let's get it. Yeah. After he died, his body was taken by a private jet to the company in Scottsdale. Williams' body was separated from his Yo. head in a procedure called neuroseparation. Operation was completed. <sighs> Williams' head and body were preserved separately. His head is stored in a steel can filled with liquid nitrogen. It's been shaved, drilled with holes, and accidentally cracked ten times. So there's there's even a controversy about that. What? Williams' body stands upright in a nine foot tall cylinder, steel tank, also filled with liquid nitrogen. Hey yo! The procedure approved uh, by Williams' son John Henry and daughter Claudia carries a hundred thirty six thousand dollar bill. Alcor claims it's still owed a hundred eleven thousand. When was this article written? Yeah, the essence is like uh, this article's from what? 2000. This article's <laughs> no. I, don't, I don't even know how. Wow, this article is held up over the test of time on the internet. This this article is Bro. 22 years old. Time out. But yeah, this all happened. I, there are so many questions. Number one, why frozen? Number two, why decapitating? Number three, why separate? He wanted this. That's what I'm saying. Why separate? Like like I don't know. That's because Walt I Disney. Think, that was the that was the freezing. I got that part. The decapitating. He did that too. Yeah, it was like he froze his body. So I, it's like I remember I've heard that story, but I'm like the decapitation I don't get, and why specifically separate? Oh wow, maybe he head and didn't body. want. Like that's the part that I don't get, bro. There were two issues with the decision. Ted's will clearly stated his desire to be cremated. Oh, and it's not his big daughter. difference. <laughs> Bobby Joe is not happy with her sibling's decision to do otherwise. So big I difference. guess he had one of his daughters stick up for him. And his desire to be cremated. So, wow. Hey, bro. <laughs> wow. This is funny. <laughs> yeah, this is wild. So, on ESPN, there's an article Ted. in 2009. I was not ready for Ted. I was not ready for this one, bro. Yeah, I've been sitting on this one. I was not. I will never forget Ted Williams now. I'll tell you that. I'll <laughs> never forget him now, bro. Never forget him. Yeah. So, this one's on ESPN. They're saying Williams' head has been mistreated. I mean, I guess that goes back to... Uh, what I said in that previous article, right? Uh, it was banged up like 10 times. Oh, uh, they rough with the head. Uh, you don't want to be rough with the head, D. got to be chill. She got to chill out. You got to chill out, man. Because you said it was with the daughter, right? And daughter dropped the head 10 times? I don't think it was her. I think it was or the, the, son. the lab. Oh, the lab did. I was about to say, the lab. Yeah, how they just dropping the head, bro? But yeah, there's controversy around all this. There's definitely more to this. I, I wish I was more prepared, but that, I like was, it. that was the main thing that I saw that was like, uh, it was probably like a week ago. I thought that would be a, a good thing to uh, bring up for deep thoughts. I love it, bro. This is out of control. I love it, though. I absolutely love it. That's yeah, how you Ted bring... Williams. Ted Williams' Listen. body frozen uh, and in two separate pieces. And I'm not exactly sure why two separate pieces. D, I'm trying to figure that out. Gonna I think... do... A there is final, a controversy around it. I'm telling if you. If we were going to do a final 35 year old show and I needed a deep thought off the top rope, I couldn't have drawn this up any better, D. This is amazing. I'm going to be thinking about cryo head, two heads, dropping heads, cracked heads, all type of head. It's just, yeah, that's where we are right now. Shout out to Ted Williams. Yeah, Joseph Donovan, that is a head scratch. I think that's the one way to put it. I mean, my head hurt a little bit. Yeah. He wanted his ashes scattered at sea. Ah, okay, okay. So instead they froze him. They're the exact opposite. And then they held him hostage. Okay, all right. Yeah, I guess the idea for hmm. being frozen, though, right, is 
in hopes of technology nah. later down the line being able to revive you and you know you could basically live a second life. But the, his only issue is what they're gonna do with his head now. Right? Yeah. That's, yeah. They that's, tripping. That's, they they done messed that up, bro. They done messed that up. Yeah, Alex. All good. I don't think drill heads are gonna work with this situation. And uh, Tito, good vibes. Yes, the crackheads. That that would. I think that's what so people would call Disney's him. Disney's body's frozen head. too. I don't know if it's still frozen, but that was like what he initially did. Yeah, it's like he cryo froze himself to like keep his body in con- perfect condition. I suppose. I don't know. Like this is it's a weird concept to me. The whole like yo, you about to check out? Let me freeze myself to hold on longer. Like, I don't Which know. Which way you landing, bro? When my time is up, my time is up. Like I'm gonna run it up while I'm here. I'm gonna max out what I can max out. But when it's gone, bro, don't, 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 don't hold on to my body. Put me up as a memorial. All, what like, are you doing? Cremate. I don't talk like this. First off, because who okay. talks like this, bro? Like, what are you on, Deke? That's what I'm trying to. That's like when he be like, it's you know, if I had to pick a perfect way to die, be like, who it's talks like that? Well, I maybe I'm just stitches. I don't talk like that. The, yeah, at I'm the a, dinner table. I'm gonna let you have that. I'm gonna let you have that talk. I'm gonna pass, pass on that. One. I, I I don't like to envision it. Surprise fair, me. Very yeah, fair. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I'm just, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> Can you feel what, me? Do you, are you curious about my answer then? It, it, sure. I, it, but if it, if it, it, I don't have an answer. I, I, all right, I'm about I've to say, thoughts. bro. I've had yeah. differing thoughts on it. Because, like, the, the, the sea thing, that's not bad. I don't mind right. that. Like, just being put back into nature. Okay. Okay. One with the world. What's the Bible say? Dust to dust, right? Okay. Okay. All right. Or, yeah, just, just buried somewhere. Okay. But I guess not in a coffin. Not in a coffin. All yeah, right. it's almost like let me let me be back part of the earth again. Like natural there. Like you want raw dog yeah. to ground. I see you, Deke. God dog. Deke said, bro, just throw me in the ground all willy dilly. Don't put me in no box. Don't this put me frozen in. thing's got me interested though. Bro, you ain't trying to get frozen, bro. You are not trying to be frozen. Not bro. this way. Not, <laughs> this, not this. <laughs> that way, sounds but. like mismanagement on the frozen, bro. That does not sound like how you want to be, bro. It just don't seem right. It just ah. Not like this. I, I hope I'm I have head people rolling over I here, trust body over here, looking over it. It's not a good look. I need bro. people I can trust. It's not what you want, man. It's not, and I'm terrible. Because obviously, with it. Ted Williams' uh, sons and daughters, he couldn't trust. Irresponsible. Irresponsible. One of them he could. One of them yeah. wanted to yeah, bro. see the whole cremation and tossed out into the sea. <sighs> Wish they, they wanted to see that through. Only one. Only one of them. All the others Respect. were arguing about freezing them. Like I don't. I don't know why. Respect. Respect. Yeah, I'm good on that one, bro. I don't even want to get to the dark. We going the wrong direction. I don't want to go that way. I said I'm turning 36 tomorrow, Deke. That's the exact opposite of direction you're going in, okay? So why? Would, I don't want to talk about any of this type of stuff, okay? So we're going to every, 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 every. Shout out the remix. Every, every, every. All right. We're going to go positive here, all right? Because not only am I going to turn 36 tomorrow, which is the start of a new year, we also have a new linebacker and a new corner. See, so we're going to just get positive. We're going to start on that direct. That's where we're going to go, all right? Yeah. We're not going to talk about the loss of a receiver. It's not a loss. It's not a loss. It's the relocation, okay? <laughs> it's the relocation of a new receiver, okay? We're going to relocate, import, export goods. That's all. We were, we we're showing how the barter system works, how if I give you this and this, you'll give me back this and this, you know? It's like prick. Queer pro quo without the queer pro quo. You feel me? I scratch your back, you scratch my back. We just scratch each other's back. That's what we do. We're not lost. We're not losing. We're not deceasing. We're not finally. We're not ending. All right? You're saying he could come back if he wants. Hey, man. You never know. We're freezing our relationship with Deontay. We're putting it on pause. There we go. We're going to keep the head intact with the body, though, okay? So that's how we are, okay? That's what we are. So let's get this show started like how we always do on a positive note, okay? Because my 36th birthday is tomorrow. So hit that like button one time for the culture. Don't forget to subscribe and you better drop it in the comment section where you tune it in from. So we can start the show like how we always do. With all of this morbid. Ah, we're real not being quick morbid. though. It kind of relates to what mm-hmm. we were just talking about. Chess piece says the tech now, you could just download your consciousness into an AI Oh bot. my gosh. See? See, I don't like nope, that. Nope, nope. I don't like how that. you walk I got USB Deke over here. I don't like that. Nope. I don't want Deke on USB. I don't want you like that. I don't want you on MP3 MP nope. or MP4 format, bro. No. Nope. I don't want you like Me that. Me neither. Yeah, I think yeah. that's the line. That's, the, yep. you know, the... When you're Robot gone, stuff, you're gone, the AI bro. stuff. Yeah, when you're gone, you're gone. The cyborg stuff. Yeah. Nah. Nah. Yeah. I, I I'm good on that. It's not right. Mm. That's I don't I don't think that's how humans are supposed to be. Mm. Mm. We're not humans anymore. Exactly. Exactly. Like you're, you're literally not you're human. You're no anymore. longer a human. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh we got John Easton from the four one two craftsman. 
I am the only person in the world that thinks Wilson is a bad signing. Ben is the best seven. Well, thank you for that. Uh, you might be the only one that think it, thinks it's a bad signing. So no, there's some people out there that well, that think okay. it's just like a bad fit or like they think Russ might be washed. But I, I don't think many people say it's a bad signing though. I think they'll still at least acknowledge it's for a million bucks though. So so it sounds like you're saying John Easton is just completely off. So if that's the case, then yeah, throw the whole stable. I'm with you, bro. No. <laughs> He was half right in his statement. Actually, he's two thirds right. I do believe he's tuning in from the four one two Crafton, and I agree with his uh, Ben take at the end of that. Oh man, didn't agree with the middle third though. Where he he said, uh, "Well, he actually, no, nah, nah, I might agree with the whole statement." He 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 said, "Am I the only one that thinks Russ is a bad sign?" He might be the only one. That means I'm trusting. I'm, I'm, so I'm that might be a judgment. whole correct statement right there. That means I just got questions about his overall judgment. That's uh, what I said. Just thought the whole thing. Yeah, I got yeah, questions about the overall just judgment there, bro. Yeah, that, yeah. He, he might be completely sound on that yeah. statement though, right there. I, I do believe you would agree with it as well, though. The whole statement, I can see that. Yeah, I think he yeah. is the only one yeah. that thinks Russ is bad mm-hmm. signing. I think he is tuning in from the four one two Crafton, and I do agree yeah. with him that. Big Ben is the best seven. Yeah, that's why I say I could definitely see y'all two perfectly. Y'all, y'all the perfect ones for that. Yep. Brother 92 from the 469 Arlington, Texas. There it is. There it is. Shay Z from the 209 Modesto, California. Let's get it. Let's get it. Jacob Alessio. I shouted him out early. I wonder if he heard what I said. It says 919 NC in the house as always. Let's get it. Let's get it. We also shout got out, SD Ninja, 619 from 619, California. Shout out to San Diego one time for the culture. Jeff H, 919, checking in. LeBron fans are toxic, he says. Mm, that's okay. It only sounds like everybody that is not a LeBron fan has an issue with LeBron fans. So it's all good. In fact, y'all could be with John Easton and Deke, man. All y'all, y'all just, any non-LeBron fan, they, y'all just, y'all in that section. It's all good. It's all good. Brandon Clark from the 5 4 Roanoke, Virginia. Shout Go out to Duke, Roanoke. Man, salute the homie. Salute him, baby. Let's get it. Tyron, 330 Alliance, Ohio. Let's get it. Finally time. caught a live show. Then Midnight's was beating on me. Man, shout out to you putting in that work, but I'm glad to have you in the building with us today, man. Salute you. Salute you. I'll say a few more. DC 53 from the Hill District 412. Man, let's get it. I'm trying to tap, man. Any who, Deke, right, man. Go I got the it. homie Tito Martinez in the 302, Wilmington, Delaware, and the homie Sam G in the 515, the boy, Iowa. Shout out. Shout out. James Moody. I see you in that 602, Phoenix, baby. Hassan T, 1989, in the 530, Sierra Foothills, aka God's Country, California. Let ride. Let ride. All right. General Tatum in the 562 Long Beach, California. He says, give Kenny a chance. Trust me, man. You got a congregation that is with you. All right. Let's go in that section. I like it, though. I like it. All right. And then Light Skin Jesus, 92. In the 814 Erie, PA. Shout out. Shout out. And El Moranis, you know we got to end it with you in the 512 Austin. And he says MJ is the GOAT. And that's fine if that is your GOAT. No issue with that, man. I just never seen him score 40,000. That's all. But I love what he's done from a team standpoint. Love it, man. Love it. All right. Well, I guess I'll end it with the homie Rod Dollar. Because you know what Rod tuning in from. You know what Rod tuning in from. The 330 Youngstown, Ohio. But he's in the south side. South is on Sharon He's south side. Yeah. I don't know what's transpired. But he's south side now. South side represent. I like it, man. Hit that like button. Let's get after it Yeah, that's it today. up to him if yeah. he wants to share that. Yeah. It's very true. Very true. All right. Supers. Let's get him. Mike Hood, Coach T, and the con artist in the kitchen cooking. Salute. Just some support here, fellas. Nah, respect, man. We greatly appreciate you as well. Tito Good Vibes gifted a most membership to Frank K. Shout out, shout out to Frank K. Now, I wonder, since Mike Hood did kind of say today in the lab cooking, should I have just popped up Patrick Crane one? Because technically that would be a part of that cooking. Yeah, I don't care. Let's pop it up real quick, man, because that's technically part of that cooking. So let's get into that first one, because the con man has been in the lab cooking. Yes, he has. And uh, we did agree, in principle, to a deal well, you with. You think he's backing out? No, no, that's what they call it. Just, we had to wait till 4 o'clock today for him to sign it. Yeah. I guess now it's after 4.30. I just ain't checked. But yeah, it's called agreeing to a deal in principle. We've actually been the recipients of somebody doing that, Tyson Aluwalu. 
Mm. Mm. I do remember that. Oh, yeah. So it's not out of this world. It does happen. That's what we say in principle, but it's not likely. So, yeah. Double, triple check just to make sure. That's all. But, yeah, man. So three years, $41 million deal. Um, And, yeah. Uh, Let's see. Pro bowler. He was second team all pro this past year. Um, three of or three out of the four years he's had over 100 tackles. The one year where he didn't have 100 tackles, he had 98 tackles. Um, what one pick this year, two picks the year before. I mean, just productive player, man. Checks a ton of them boxes. I mean, as a linebacker, this is the the new prototypical style. I mean, even we brought up some of these linebackers in terms of the wish list. He was the guy that we put on the top for you know multiple reasons, and we did feel like he would cost the most. I'm low key surprised it was a little bit cheaper than I liked, and I liked that number a lot. The 41, I thought it was gonna be a little bit 60 ish. I thought he was gonna tap it a little bit higher, but for 40, I'm not tripping on 40, man. No, it's an incredible deal. Yeah. An incredible deal at a really good rate. And the thing I'm liking about it, and how much will I like it in two or three years, but I, I just like the fact it feels like we're going all in because mm -hmm. Omar, I think, shifted the money where he's only hitting six million against the cap yeah, for this for year this coming year. up mm -hmm. again it's one of those things you're kicking the can down the road but i yeah i do like the thought of going all in why Why the hell not we got russ mm -hmm. in here on a vet minimum contract and kenny pickett on a rookie deal yeah like, we could do this type of stuff absolutely load up this is the cheat code with a little hybrid of our cheat code because of the added element of russ but um yeah patrick queen man from an on field standpoint man i don't have a ton that is negative the only thing that you question from my perspective is some of what we would project or anticipate him stepping into. But I think that's very different than why I like the signing, if that makes sense. Uh, I'm guessing you mean by that, uh, how's he going to do as number one here? Yeah. Versus, you know, he had Roquan Smith there the last like year and a half, and that's been his best ball. Absolutely. And I get it, but... We look at this free agency class and mm -hmm. all these inside linebackers. He's still the best guy. Yeah. Like, he's probably a top 10 guy out there. But, yeah, yeah. we, we got to see if he learned from his early years mm -hmm. of being one. Because we've talked about this. The Ravens don't make that trade for Roquan Smith and if they really believe mm -hmm. in Patrick Queen like that. Yep. They're the ones going to be – they're going to be giving him the $20 100. million dollar yeah. contract. Very true. Very true. So, like I said – But it worked out perfectly for us. Yeah, that's my. that was my literally my only thing. And I'm like – even with that, I think that's why the number was 41 and not 60, 70, right? Because when you just talk about what he is from an athletic standpoint, he could be coming out in this year's draft. He would still be a first-rounder. He checks that box in terms of sideline to sideline, physical, can blitz, could drop him into coverage, could do the zone stuff, could do the man stuff. Like I said, he, he does a lot of that. That was why he was a first-rounder in the first place. But to me, man, when I watched him, I've seen him develop, and you watch him, man, this this past season, man. He's playing lights out. And, yeah, when you're playing next to Roquan Smith, it is a lot easier to do some of that type of stuff. I always think of Vince Williams when he was next to Ryan Shazier, and then when Vince had to play next to LJ Ford and John Bostic. Vince was still productive. Vince was still a dope player. But it did not feel the same as when he was with Ryan Shazier and it was shake and bake. That was my only concern with this move but i'm not about to sit here and panic before we even get a chance to see if he can step into it that'd be like what i was joking on you about a little bit of like man don't you know just assume that it ain't gonna work out before you even look you know what i mean like man act like he is gonna be that dude when you google the number you know what i mean so i think of patrick queen like why can't he be the guy that steps up why can't he be the guy that now after being a, uh, having a chance to do it them bring in somebody now you rock with him and learn from him now this is your chance again to not only do it, but do it in the division against the team that decided that you weren't good enough. Because at some point in time, Baltimore thought you weren't good enough. That's why they brought in Roquan Smith. And then they well, decided they drafted, to pay Roquan 100 plus Trent million. Too. Yeah. So they've already been planning this the past two years. You've been kicking butt, though, the past two years. Go over here and show them where they messed up at. Go over here and show them that, man, you are better than Trent Simpson and anybody else that they could put out there. That's kind of how I look at it, too. I'm like, bro, I think that we're going to also get a motivated version of him. At least I'm hoping so. Granted, we've never seen him with this much money, so this is the part where you, you know, we got to find out. But to me, I'm like, bro, he should be very motivated and slightly pissed off that y'all ain't want to do this. 
And I'm sure market wise, when you think about what Tremaine Edmonds got last year, record breaking deal, the oh, most yeah, guaranteed steal. money. This is thirty million dollars cheaper than that, bro. Yeah. Think, think about Patrick that. Better. Think about that. Right. Thirty million dollars cheaper. That's the part for him where he's you can't be done. You can't be satisfied with this, bro. This is dope money, but compared to what you could be getting, you oh, yeah, literally two years young. away. Right. You could go do this in two more. You 27, you hitting the market again, bro. Two hot years, man. We might be the ones trying to extend you into that third one, bro. That's the thing. I'm like, man, it's a ton of upside with this. Now, granted, we had to pay more for it, but because it's way more proven. I love this way more than an Edrin Cooper, a Junior Colson, a Peyton Wilson. I love it way more than any of those options because it's proven. I don't have to project can it stay healthy. I don't have to project can its game come up to this level and still be physical. Right, we don't got to deal with the well. The last Michigan linebacker we brought in, man, we see how that worked out. Like, nah, we know this game translates because we've seen it and we're very familiar with it. And we're gonna get the weaken up the ops too. So I like that too. Yeah, dude could do it all. Come on, bro. Like honestly, yeah, we might. I'll be interested to see what happens with Cole Holcomb or if we even add more to the inside mm-hmm. linebacker room. I would have mm-hmm. loved to pair up Willie Gay with Patrick Queen. He just signed with yeah. the Saints for a one-year, five million dollar deal, like. I don't think either of their markets that would have been were what, intriguing. Think about both of their markets, though. It wasn't what people anticipated. I thought they going uh, Queen was going to be in the sixty range. I thought Willie Gate would be in the twenty to thirty range. But if Queen is signing for forty, that definitely changes the trajectory of everybody else in terms of who sets the market and stuff like that. So it could be a scenario where he literally was like, "I'm not getting the numbers that I want to hear. Let me take this one for five. I wonder. If we will ever get the information, we probably won't. But what Patrick Queen's negotiations went were went like also at first. Because clearly yeah. you settled at 41, but that's not the number you start at. Especially when we just talked about what Tremaine Edmonds signed for a year ago. Yep. So I wonder what was his market and does he also look at this in a similar way of like, yeah, this is short enough. It's enough conversation where I feel great, but I can get back to that thing and hit it again because yeah, it's what Man, Roquan, Fred wanted them dudes getting hundreds. It's like if you wanted a guy, guys, they don't they don't skim on inside. Like if you a guy, they'll pay you, pay you there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With you putting it that way, it's mm-hmm. even more perfect for both sides. But absolutely, bro. Queen's still young, twenty four, going to be twenty five this year. And you're right, if he balls out this year, next year, uh, heading into that third year, I'm sure we could give him some type of extension. Yeah, just because of how we value linebackers, man. Mm-hmm. Like we've been trying to. Find the Shazier replacement for how long? Since and I liked down. what we did last year. Yeah. Like, I think last year was our best effort in that. It's just the injuries popped up. Yeah, we did a, a dope job of using the committee, and we had the right body types. And it worked well until each body type started to fall off, so to speak. Quan went down, then Cole. Now you put in even more strain on Atlanta Roberts. Whereas now, when you have a Patrick Queen, he is all of that in one. If Cole Holcomb, I just don't know when he's back, what he looks like. That's my only issue with it. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Like, Because as we sit here right now, if it's Queen and Roberts, Mm -hmm. I'm very satisfied with that. I am too. I I think bringing in Willie Gay would have been sick because I think you're getting a better version of Atlanta Roberts there, faster, more athletic version. Mm -hmm. But still, as is, Mm -hmm. we can work with this. But then how much are you relying on Cole Holcomb to be that's my thing. If Cole Holcomb that is rotation healthy, guy with Alan and Roberts, if, I don't know. If Cole Holcomb is healthy, I think I get my Willie Gay out of that. But my problem is I just don't know what the recovery is like right now. Now, maybe the team feels way better about where he's at right now, and that might be why they decided to not go get a Willie Gay for a one for five. That's yeah. That's, because that's, let's be real, one cool. for five, we could afford one for five. We that's done that's that. nothing crazy. And there was a did you right. see all the signs and breadcrumbs pointing Trust to Willie me, Gay signing there? A hundred percent. Russ I, retweeting Willie Gay stuff. I was more Steelers, surprised liking when, Steelers yeah, stuff. I thought that he was going. I'm with you. But it'll work out though. We that's got a the bummer. we got the main one we needed though. Like when I think of what we've yeah. just done at quarterback and at inside linebacker, the quarterback on both sides of the field, the most important in terms of communication and if you got a playmaker there, what it does to everybody around you, we can make a case that in both spots, man, we have made major upgrades in terms of personnel in those rooms. And that's what you want to see. When you talk about Patrick Queen, we haven't had a Patrick Queen type linebacker on this roster for the past couple of seasons. When we talk Russell Wilson, we had a Russell Wilson type quarterback on this roster for the last couple of seasons. So that's the part where when we're just talking about the impact and the ripple effects of those two pieces, man, 
that's the thing that I think, man, just around everything, man, it's going to be that much better too, bro. Yeah, like, and we saw a ton of boxes, of man. what our defense looks like whenever mm-hmm. you get good inside linebacker plays. Yeah. We got that last year for the first half of the season. Mm-hmm. I wasn't seeing us have any troubles with running backs or tight ends. Yeah. And Quan Alexander, Cool Holcomb get hurt, mm-hmm. and that's what's killing us the second half of the season. Yeah. That's all that was killing us. But it's like, not only is he fast, he is physical. He's trying to hit you. Like, it reminds me of watching Quan. Like, different body types, different style yeah. of plays, but like that mentality of they're fast players, but they're physical players. They're not small finesse guys. And that's the part when you're talking about why this new age linebacker is, you know, being treated how they are. It's because when you find one that actually has that physical mindset, not that safety mindset where it's coverage first, these dudes got linebacker mindsets. They trying to hit first. Oh, man, when you get that perfect combo, that's what we got right now, man. So, yeah, I'm super excited, bro. Super excited. All right. So, because I know we got supers in here. I did want to just get to the Deontay part before we get to TG. So, what we're going to do, I know we got yeah. the supers in here. We're going to get this DJ talk real quick. Sure. Then, obviously, that's when TG hit up. And then, from there, we get all supers on the back end of that, all right? So, sure. that's what we're going to swap with him right there, all right? Yeah. So, hit that like button one time for the culture. Don't forget to subscribe if you're enjoying the show, all right? But uh, we also had some import-export action happening where we shipped Deontay Johnson in our seventh round, 240th overall pick, to the Carolina Panthers for cornerback Dante Jackson and my favorite draft pick in each and every draft, the 178th overall selection. Deke, that, that, that specific pick holds a special place in my heart, Deke. Just throwing it out there, baby. All right, so shout out to pick 170. It's going to be good luck for us. Absolutely, if we keep it. If we keep it, it's going to be great luck. But if okay. we don't keep it, F that pick. All right. But um, what's your initial thoughts, man? DJ, shipped out? It was weird. Yeah, once I saw he was traded, I was like, okay. We thought this could happen. And then I saw the return. I'm like, eh. Okay. I know Dante Tom Jackson's Tom fast and mad. Tom and... Tom Why you do the same thing I did though, bro? He's ah, literally a bit, but bear, but my little bear's baseball practice. Yeah. Hit before I'm like, ah, that was, ah. <laughs> let's go, let's go. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> Think about it a little bit more. Ah. You know, talk myself into it. Yeah. Uh, I guess. I see it. I, Just I guess, talk about it. Just get it off your chest, bro. Yeah. Get it off your chest. I, I see why they did it. Get it off your chest. Uh, I think where I'm at right now, though, is just still wait and see. Okay. Let's see how they address the receiver position. Let's see how they address the rest of these positions of need yeah. and free agency and also in the draft. Uh, because that might give us a more, uh, more clear picture of what's going on here and, and why Deontay was traded. But... I get why he was traded even on the surface right now, only a day removed from it happening mm-hmm. because you got reports out there from Jerry Dulac where the Steelers <laughs> were saying that they were just getting sick of Deontay and some of the headaches that he yeah. brought, and his production wasn't worth some of those headaches. It's yeah. almost like the whole AB thing mm-hmm. that you always bring up yeah. with Tom where he's like, uh, what, what's it? What, you, what's the saying? Yeah. Something about, like, I, I won't replace you oh, until... No, no, no. So he's like, I won't replace you until... Or he's like, I'll put up with it until I can replace you. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Until I can replace you, I'll put up with it. So I think mm-hmm. at this point, they're thinking Deontay in his last year, with how these two years went after he signed that contract extension, mm-hmm. they're, they're just like, yeah, it, it wasn't what we expected. Ultimately, it wasn't yeah. what we expected, and I think we can replace him right now. And we need some cornerback help. Dante Jackson, even though he's he's getting up there in age, he's still got speed. He got that torn Achilles from 2022, but mm-hmm. still started in 16 games last year. Talk that talk, Deke. I like when you do your homework, Deke. A vet- I like it's, when you do your homework, he's Deke. He's a veteran. Seems, I like it, Deke. To be, like right now, could be a CB2 for us, but mm-hmm. I don't know how the Steelers view him. Talk, I don't know yeah, if talk the deep. Steelers are looking at him more as like a versatile piece, mm-hmm. and then we're gonna add to the room and get get a more like sure CB two, mm-hmm. because this dude like based off his size and everything, he shouldn't mm-hmm. be playing outside. He was coming mm-hmm. out of LSU playing a lot in the slot, but in the pros in Carolina, mm-hmm. played outside predominantly. Mm-hmm. 
So we'll see. I, mean, I, I think he's I think he's a good piece to have on this defense. Apparently, we're going to restructure his contract because mm-hmm. he has one year. The whole, left. You yeah. see how the salary cap played mm-hmm. out with this trade? It basically equaled out. Like yeah. Deontay's there cap was no hit benefit canceled in out. Yeah, yeah the, the player mm-hmm. for player swap just yeah. the cap hits canceled out. Mm-hmm. Now we got the better of the draft pick swap. We got yeah. the sixth rounder where Carolina gets the seventh rounder. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I mean, if if Deontay. I haven't seen this report out there just yet, but people do have been speculating. Like, mm-hmm. if Deontay didn't want to be here, if, like, that's true, mm-hmm. and, like, the Steelers were ready to move on, that's fine. It's just unfortunate to me that this was the best trade package we could get. I feel like if we were actually thinking about trading Deontay, like, the last two or three years, then the time to do it was then, because we yeah. could actually got, like, Very a second-round pick and yeah. maybe drafted a Jordan Addison last year or something. Yeah. But, hey, uh... Yeah, let's let's just wait and see. I, I'm not against it. I'll put it to you this way. I'm not against the trade happening. Not against it. I don't think it's a bad trade. Respect. So for me, man, I went through the full gamut of emotion. Obviously, I know I like DJ a lot. I like his game a ton. So when he first got traded, I just was like, dang. I thought the timing was slightly off because before the Russell Wilson move, I 100% understood any grievance he had. And I was 100% in support of it. Hence the reason why you never heard me even say nothing negative about him in some of that noise. Because it's like, I get what you're saying. The standard is the standard. Except when it's for a certain player, then we move the goalposts. He was just holding that player accountable and holding the organization accountable. So I could understand where that could ruffle some feathers. But from his perspective, he is 100% dependent upon that position for him to be successful and he wasn't cool with just allowing his career to be put in the hands of that player if he thought the organization wasn't going to be doing more to at least make that dude step up but that's why I thought the time was off because once we brought in Russell Wilson I figured okay now you've upgraded now you got a guy that's a lot more proven if you're Deontay do you go back to the organization and you're like, all right, bro, I'm cool now because, you know, you got this guy here and I'm, I ain't tripping no more? I just don't know if he ever did that or did he just stay like, yo, man, I am. this is where I met with it or was the, it too far in motion? That was oh, the so only thing for Deontay me. you think Deontay did one out? I think he wasn't okay with the plan being Kenny Pickett as QB1 because all offseason, what is everybody that was a decision maker with the organization have said that Kenny Pickett is QB1? He Even when he talked on our show, you can hear how he talked about it, bro. Like, talking around it, but we kind of got what he's saying. I got to be patient. There's certain things I could do with seven, but with bro, it's different. I might see it with seven this way. He might see it the exact same way as I see it, but with him, I just got to remember, it's different. He's developing. He's younger. It's like, bro, he's telling you what it is. So that's kind of how I thought of it, but that's why I thought that would shift because Russ was here. But this is two days later. I'm like, did y'all even get a chance to rehash that? Or was it just, it is what it is. We are viewing you as a cancer now. You got to go. Because it could have been that. Once it gets that far down, he's like, yo, Kenny's still on the roster. What if Kenny does beat all Russ? How are you going to react then? All of that could be at play. But this is what we always say, man. Whenever you decide to be more vocal, whenever you decide to stand up for yourself, you just got to know it's a lot that comes with it. Deontay Johnson is an eighteen million dollar, hundred catch, hundred thousand or hundred catch, thousand yard receiver. That's what he is. That's what he's been in his league, and it's shown with Big Ben at the back end of his career, Mason Rudolph, Kenny Pickett, Duck Hodges, Mitch Trubisky. He didn't have Randy Feigner. He didn't had Matt Canada. He didn't had Eddie Faulkner. He didn't had Mike Sullivan, and he didn't have Mike Sullivan's play calling. The one constant, DJ's production. So that's the part where it's like, I get the frustration from him, but at the same time, organizationally, you don't have to deal with that now because you have a quarterback that's going to draw action, whether we're talking free agency or even when you're drafting, you still feel confident about whether Kenny rises up and beats out what we've we've already seen in Russ or even if Russ is bare minimum what he was a year ago. It's like, yo, that just makes you feel a lot more comfortable moving on from a DJ. Whereas if you don't have Russ and you're just sitting here talking Kenny, or Mason, or a draft pick, you're like, bro, we can't afford to not have a proven guy that generates college-level separation because that's what we've always talked about. That's why all these quarterbacks default to DJ versus GP and other guys 
because the separation is visual. It's not a combat catch. It's not a 50-50 ball. It's not a jump ball where it can go both ways. It's like, no, you see separation. That's what they love them. So that's the thing for me. It's like, yo, that sucks that we're going to lose that piece, but you got to rest. And if Kenny beats out of rest, then great. We feel great about that either way. But I still think we're going to bring something in for that. But I love Dante Jackson over Levi Wallace and Pat P where yeah, they were definitely. last year. Yeah, yeah. And definitely. that's my part. I'm like, you lose this piece, you still feel great about GP. You still got Calvin Austin. We're going to see what we draft. We also know Arthur Smith's system is not predicated on two, three, four wide receivers. It's run the ball, big personnel. Give me my guy that can go be A.J. Brown. We feel great about GP. Defensively, though, that was an issue opposite of JPJ. This checks that box off in pedigree, former second-round draft pick, actually in the same class as DJ. Talk about creating turnovers, 14 picks. 14 picks in six years. He tore his Achilles at the nine games in one of them and didn't have a pick last year. 14 picks. They like That's ball awareness. That's ball skills, man. And like you said, he played outside. The thing that I did notice, though, and I think we'll be able to do something similar if we decide. They didn't play necessarily left and right corner, him and J.C. Horn. They played field and boundary almost like college. So they had him always to the field. So he was always going to have protection coverage wise over top. And when he didn't, it was still he's good enough that he can handle his business over there. They put J.C. Horn in all, almost like when you watch Sauce Garden, how the Jets utilize him. He would get the man matchups. He would get the that's the dog over there. You get with him. I'm like, we got J.P.J. So in a sense, I'm like, J.P.J. was traveling last year. Why couldn't we trade for J.C. Horn here? <laughs> J.C. Horn, I think would have cost way more, bro. I would have thrown in the pack or something. Fair, but he would have cost way more to be. I'm like, J.C. Horn is nice, nice, bro. Yeah. I think he would have he cost more. Like, going back, because I got a chance to, like, go back and, like, watch a couple of games now specifically of Dante Jackson. Because for me, I was kind of like you. I'm like, I remember he was fast coming out, but I ain't been watching a ton of Panthers. Outside of the one game we played against them, was that two, was it last year? Two, no, two, two years, years ago. Yeah. Yeah, and now he wasn't even out there. He was hurt. Yeah. So I'm like, bro, I did. Yeah. I'm like, I had to go refresh it. I'm like, okay. Now I remember his game. Okay. Yeah, I see this. All right, I like this about him. But I will say this, smart as heck, physical. He's not afraid to tackle. He triggers, man. You watch him in terms of run support, and in the AFC North, you got to do that, bro. So he definitely does that. But athletic, I just think he's a better version of corner than what we've had out there this past year. We definitely sped up our defense a little bit. Yeah, absolutely, bro. Now, Now, I'm not saying he's a world beater. I'm definitely not saying that. But in terms of if JPJ is your guy, yeah. He is going to be you an upgrade can, you over what Levi Wallace was, or even and what I, Pat P was to an extent. Yeah, and I still don't think mm-hmm. it holds us back from adding another I would agree. Back, whether whether we draft or free yeah, agency. Yeah, I feel like this yeah. guy can be versatile. I agree with you, bro. Now, one more thing about losing Deontay and why it probably isn't going to be the end of the world for us. Yeah. One, you still got free agency. You still Absolutely. got the draft. Yeah. But also, just on paper, just on the surface... How much was Deontay really going to be fitting in with this system anyway? Right, and that's the legitimate question. With you know, with yeah. the blocking and potentially taking some plays off, or mm-hmm. even, even too like with now, I don't know if Deontay would have changed his tune here a little bit with Russ, but the thought of not running routes completely, where you need to be doing that and be being it, attentive so whenever this, Russ is this extending is my the play only out there. Thing, this is my only thing. <laughs> we want to pile on DJ for not always showing effort but when you're playing in an offense with the quarterback play being what it was for him when he first came in the league he had been Roethlisberger bro that's night and day man so I just think at times you were watching a pissed off dude we saw GP do the same thing difference is we like GP a little bit more so nobody brings up his moments DJ Wonthorn went out there acting like that bro all them dudes was pissed, and we all understood why. And that's why when we when Mason came out there and did what he did, we was like, oh, all right, we see what this is. That's all, man. I get it, though, with DJ. Yeah. If we want to pull up his blocking, I'm like, bro, is DJ ever going to be an all-world blocker? No. His way of blocking is run you off. Run you out of out of here, man. Because he's not a big guy. He's not GP. But we've seen GP. We, we don't talk about him. We... Jumped out the way, get yeah. I mean, we've seen that, but that's what we think. It's like, let's, right? Well, yeah. G, GP's physically capable of being right. a good blocker. I yeah. don't even know if Deontay is. Right. I'm like, Deontay's a little dude in not. the first place, yeah. Right, but yeah, that goes back to what I was saying. I just, 
I brought up the whole Russ thing and Deontay stopping his routes and stuff and how that wouldn't be a good thing with Russ because yeah. he extends the play, like mm-hmm. kind of as a joke. But yeah, I think but the other, real though, I think the other, true. a lot of people have brought up stuff about I, Deont- Deontay's effort, his route running, the drops, the lack of blocking. The I'm like, bro, yeah, with Russ, when did you're all gonna, this start? You're gonna have like, to make up your crazy. own routes after yeah. the you're after you're complete with what you were initially mm-hmm. uh, meant to do. You're gonna have to nah. figure out something because yeah, he he mm-hmm. does extend the play, but um, uh, yeah, it's uh, yeah, I think. It might have not. It just might have not been a good fit with Arthur Smith anyway. Yeah, that's real. Like bro. honestly, like you said, you like got we, the might, big we body might get dude. one of these other like big body receivers. Mm-hmm. Odunze, I, I know you have to trade off for him, but there's a lot of guys. They're yeah. Not even, not even just like the top part of this class when mm-hmm. when it comes to receivers. Like there's a lot of like big no, dudes. It is. Out. It, it, fast is. Dudes too. it definitely is. And I do feel a lot more comfortable going this direction because of Russell Wilson. You don't want a lot of youth dealing with, oh, we drafted it because we drafted this young with young, but at least you got a super vet, a dude that has already led. Like I said, if Kitty B said, oh, great, then that means we just have elevated even more. But that's my only, like I said, my only hesitancy with it. But knowing that our situation is very different now, yeah, I'm not tripping on that, man. Well, you, you want to read this news before uh, TG oh, yeah, on? Yeah, yeah, Let, let's get it, man, because I've been seeing the headline. I've been seeing it pop up, so let's tap me in on it. Yeah, hit that like button one time. Y'all digging the conversation that we have. And don't forget to subscribe if you are new to the channel, man. We do appreciate each and every one of y'all with us today. Mason Rudolph signed with the Tennessee Titans. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Mason. One-year deal for $3.62 million. So let me find out Moan put the call in because you know. That's that's my own guy. He's and my own plugged Titans. in with the Tennessee Titans. I didn't see it with my bare eyes. I synced it. I like it though. Actually, good for I him. I like it. Really good for him. Hey, because man, Levis low key is uh, perfect. Well, yeah, I was gonna say maybe that's the one team I overlooked when talking about uh, a good chance for Mason to start because I don't think Will Levis is good at all. And you know, you're bringing in Mason. I don't think the Titans are gonna double down and draft another quarterback after just picking Levis mm-hmm. in the second round last year. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I guess that's your competition then. That's nice for you Mason, versus man. Uh, Levis. That's nice for Mason, man. You yeah, don't have to him. deal with the biasness of anything pre-done, just because for Levis, man, he didn't he didn't have uh, he played it's in tennis. You know what I mean? Like it's, everything whole is different. Regime. Yeah. Yep, yep. Right, because I'm like, even here with Kenny, it's like, yeah, it's a new OC, but we still drafted. We still had the pit connection. It was still this. It's people here. You know what I mean? Down there, bro, you be straight, man. Yeah. I like it for him, though. I like it for him a lot, man. Once again, makes that rust deal look that much better. You said he got how much money? Uh, 3.6. Exactly. Let me. I love the 1.2 for us. Love the 1.2 for us. I'm trying. I'm, I'm waiting to find another QB deal that's gonna be better. Mitch Trubisky got paid more than Russ, man. I don't think you can. Mitch got paid more than Russ, bro. Right? Yeah, he got paid more than Russ. You All the dudes, Donald. Because there's not gonna dudes, be a bro. guy getting the vet minimum who's gonna be a higher caliber than Russ. <laughs> so it's yeah, it's not gonna be possible. I don't think. I just love it, bro. I love it. Pretty crazy. Love it, dude. Do you see those reports though about Russ? I think they came out yesterday, where he completely understood. Where, oh, in terms of the competition, yeah, where yeah. we where we stood mm-hmm. on the competition and yeah. said like, bro, we're not guaranteeing you anything. Mm-hmm. It didn't matter to him. He like he he really wanted to be here. When you're Russell Wilson, you have a certain level of confidence in your play. That's the same thing I've been saying to you should. about Kenny with competition. If Kenny is all the things that you say he is, or all the things that you think he can grow into, he should have a certain level of comp. He's have a certain level of confidence in his ability. Going into any competition, bro. And with Russ, he got a certain level of confidence. He's like, okay, this is what y'all want to do. He had that coming in as a rookie yeah. to Seattle. Like, Absolutely. That's, that's something he's always had. That, I think Absolutely. that's something that, All right. if you're great, you, you kind of always have, right? Yeah. I know everyone's got different yeah. stories. Like, who, who knows how down bad Kurt Warner was right. through but some no, of his early real. years. But you got to have something in you where you bro. still believe in yourself. Absolutely, man. And he has it because he's done it multiple times now, man. It's like... That wasn't no first round. That was a fourth round to coming into this thing, man. Yeah. How about this one? Are we getting TG on? Or oh, shoot. Good call. Good call. Else? This one, though, this is good to read before he comes on. Breaking news from uh, David Decker. The Eagles are out on the Justin Simmons sweepstakes. Oh, that's good. 
It's really good. I, Jeez. I, I thought they would be out That's considering, good. didn't they just bring back? Saquon, too. Well, they brought back uh, Gardner Johnson. Yeah, yeah. Dude, this is what I'm not getting. It's but you said brought off. back. They didn't bring him back. They had to go sign him from Detroit because he was yeah. out in Detroit. Yeah. Yeah. But this is what I'm not getting. Or it's just something that's pissing me off. Mm-hmm. I'm seeing all these big names, like a Justin Simmons. Yeah. Oh, is he going to go to the Eagles? Or any of these other mm-hmm. big name free agents. Eagles or Niners. Like, no, you, you guys are done. Like, you guys can't afford these. Like, you're done. They're on the you're Rams. Done. Everybody is. They've you're seen done. it happen with the no, Rams. You're done. These teams they are have done. Seen like, it you, work. you have paid. All these big names, you're the done. The Rams do it. The Niners are doing it. Everybody is done. The Niners, you're done. Like, Everybody has done it, bro. That's the no, wave right done. now. No more big names. You're That's done. That's the wave right now, bro. That's the wave. We're st- I wonder how long until we fully tap into that type of... Because that is... That's the new wave, bro. They just like, yo, spend it. Load up on one and, and yeah, let's go for it. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't get how the Eagles mm-hmm. are even talking about... Oh, Justin Simmons is available. Oh, let's, nah. let's take him to the Eagles. No, nah, like you, if, no, you don't have any cap space. You're if, we, done. if we keep it at a buck deep, free agency broke my heart when I seen Derrick Henry go to Baltimore. I was just like, really, dude, of all places, that's... You knew that was happening. <laughs> that's the one you wanted to go yeah, to. Yeah, like, I mean, ew. if you had to bet money, the, he was going to the Ravens. That's, no. that's the Ravens' no. way. That's, that's the Ravens' like, move. of all backs, he don't need any additional help, okay? He don't need none of that. Now we got to worry about a zone read. Is he pulling it with Derrick Henry? Come on, bro. Come on, man. No, we'll right. man. We'll be all right. We'll be all right. We got TJ. We got Patrick. Man. We'll be all right. It's like, Lord. Yeah, I can't yeah. sit here and act like it's not an upgrade for them. Right? Hey, bro. It's something what? significant. But what? we'll be all right. We've handled Derrick Henry before. We've handled Lamar Jackson before. Now they're you together. They were separate. I yeah, get it. They're yeah. separate. But all, all I'm saying because like, they're their own monsters in their own right. Like the zone read with Lamar's its own entity, and that's why you would watch any running back come in that system and have a ton of success. Like we've named the laundry list of backs that they went through, and we're just like everybody eats. You know why? Because you're on your heels. You can't attack it. It's that military ball, man. But with super athletes over there. But now you put Dale on Derrick Henry. I'm like, bro, that's that's Hopefully gonna be an interesting one, bro. Yes, with yes, all due respect. Yes, with all due respect, age quickly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I'm like, I'm just thinking defensively, dealing with that. I'm like, bro, that's that's a nightmare, a little bit, bro. Kick they butt up front. You got to win in the trenches. This win is in the a trenches. Typical Ravens move. Though. Yeah, win you in the get trenches. Get a big though. name, a little bit past his prime. Women with Melvin was it Melvin? Uh. Oh, no, oh, no. Oh, there's so many names. No, the cat, Steve the Smith, cat that came Anquan from New Orleans. Bolden. What was the cat that came from New Orleans? The running back. Oh, my gosh. Mark Ingram. Mark, yeah. That's what, Mark, Mark Ingram. Ingram. Yeah, yeah, Mark Ingram. Mark Ingram, Steve Heck Smith, yeah, bro. Mike Wallace, Anquan Bolden. Man, Mark Ingram I mean, even recently, there. more, more low-key moves they made was... Uh, L. Bell, Latavius Murray. No, Dude. no, no, no. I'm I'm talking defense, like Kyle Van Noy. Oh, Kyle Van Noy. Yeah. And he's Clowney. Clowney. All of a sudden, he's, yep. yeah, he's contributing to the Ravens. Bro, right? he, he had his most sacks. Think about that. Kyle Van Noy. Yeah, yeah. Eric Weddle passes prime can still do it. Though. Calais Campbell, yeah. Calais. That what we think of is done in Jackson. These are like, Ravens. Nope, he's moves, back. So, yeah. yeah. Well, you remember Derek the linebacker Henry. they had? What was Odell like Daryl? What was it? Daryl Williams? Was that the linebacker they brought in at one time? I don't remember. Yeah, he had a little like two, three year run as well with them dudes, bro. Yeah. Yeah. So this, yeah, this was happening. That's like, this, if you had to bet money where Derrick Henry was going to go, it, it was call. the Ravens. Good call. It definitely. I just was. didn't like that, but good call. And yeah, he. They need a running good. back. Yeah. He's a name, a little past his prime, can still play. Yeah. Perfect fit. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Let's call up the homie, see what he on, talk this crazy talk with the homie. All right. <laughs> know he got something crazy going on. Y'all hit that like button one time for TG. I think he's celebrating. He might be. Uh, Deontay Trey. Yeah, he might be. I, uh, do we give him props for that? Like I said, y'all I just playing. Give, I y- think we give him props. Y'all play different than I play. I just, just different set of rules, man. It's different side of rules. <laughs> hello, hello. I got the thing all right. Thanks, y'all. TG. You, you got us? All right, maybe I'm tripping. Hold on. Ball your money. No, but say maybe I'm tripping on something, Deke. Am I tripping on something? It was Deke. Deke, Deke was tripping, TG. Deke was tripping. Blame, blame TG. Hey, TG, blame Deke. It was Deke this time, bro. Usually it's you. It was him. So you good, bro. Talk to me, man. Let me let me intro. What? Can I intro the man, the myth, the one and only? Pittsburgh Steelers, former linebacker, Mr. West Virginia, Mountaineer, you know, alum, almost seven, almost seven is what they call it. 
You know, you know. My locker mate. You feel me? One half of the locker mates. But we talking about the one and only Terrence Garvin. TG, TG. Bro, we active. We have been active. So we'll start like this. Do you want to start offense or do you want to start defense, man? Man, just. <laughs> what a time! Hey, look, look, which one you want to start with today, bro? We got offense and we got defense on the menu, baby. Do the do the do the good guys first. All right, know? all right. What, 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 you know what? You know what? What do you think of the Did rest, son? Wow. wow. Did what wow? What did he say with it? What do you I think really of the rest, son? He said we think of the rest. Want to start with the good side of the ball. Jeez. Man, start wow. with the good guy. Yeah, right. done. Jeez. Don't warm it up. Wow. <laughs> Jeez. Nah, man. Let's start however you want. <laughs> At first, I did. You know, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't on the, on the, on the rush train. Mm-hmm. You know, I wasn't on, I wasn't on. But, I mean, I, I, I like it now. I think it makes them dangerous. I think it totally just. I think the team is already night and day better. You know, like I think it's already a better team. Like, I think some of the improvements they made, it gives them the ability now they can just focus on that line. You know. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know. I like the rest. I didn't like it at first, but I like it. I think you get a winner in there. You get somebody you know. You know what you're getting. Yeah. You know, it's not no question marks in there. You know, you're getting a winner. You know, you're getting somebody that's gonna come compete. They're gonna bring some, some different, a, a different light to the team. Yeah. You know, it's gonna bring another a different set of attention. Uh, like the team will be talked about. You know, the team will always be. And they big are all it's good for the big podcast. facts. Big facts. Yeah, but it is it's definitely a business move, like you know. Like it's a, it's it, it just brings a lot of notoriety to your team, like, you know. Now now Whether, you you initially said you weren't, you know, on the, yeah. the rush train, but then it kind of switched for you. What was it that switched yeah. for you? Um I had to really look at it. I had to really talk it out, you know. Me, Vince, me, Vince Williams, my shout, guy. Shout out you, know, to Vince. you know what he gonna do. Guy. Yeah, we had to have real. I had to have a real. I had to get some different perspective about it, you know. Because at first I was like, "That's a lot, isn't it?" Like, one, I, I, I one still think it's two. a lot. You know, it's he, definitely he's a, two million dollars cheaper than what Mason Rudolph just signed for, bro. And that's and that's kind of the you know the business of football came up a lot with it. Sam like, Donald hey, got like, one for ten. I told you Sam Darnold was a name, though, bro. But, but, but no, this is what I'm saying. Sam Darnold getting 10 and Russ for 1.2? You won. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, like, bro. <laughs> it don't get no better than that. Like, you get a... TG, I, th- I think I could speak for you a little bit, though, too, because one of the reasons I think you were concerned about Russ coming here was, like, that power dynamic, like, what it means whenever Russ comes in here and, like, giving him over the keys. But... Yeah. Based off his meeting with the Steelers and ultimately coming to a deal, he said he, he's willing to come in here humble and compete. Like it's it's not about that. So I think I think that's why it's like even a better move, like from the information we know now compared to beforehand. What's compete mean? Open competition. Okay. You think that's what he getting? Listen, I think I personally think he's the starter. Yeah, I think you don't okay. bring Russell Wilson in for nothing. But uh, let me ask this. Let me the ask Steelers this. apparently made that clear to us. You got to come in and compete. All right. I got a question. I got a question for you. Let's hear it. I want to know this. When they come out with the the next, because the next biggest thing is the draft. Yeah. Then after the draft, they have the schedule release. <laughs> you a sicko. I want to <laughs> know. You are a sicko. What? I'm I'm not. I want to know what they do. The you are an movies. absolute sicko. I know what you're doing. Who are they gonna put on the pictures? Who, who's gonna be on the cover? That's Wait, they're already doing it now. Like, I, what do you mean? <laughs> I get that. <laughs> who's gonna be on the cover when they do? The I view schedule? Russ highly. I don't. I don't. I don't view Russ like in, in a in a in a bad way. He's a Hall of Famer, man. No, we love Russ. We just we, we, we just know him. you love Kenny. That's his name. Yeah, yeah, just, but like I get, much you brought this up on the yeah. last podcast. Like, we know what this is, though. Like, come on, like, hey, Tom, I, I, I still, hold on, hold on, hold on. I still, Tom, Tom, Kenny Tom, could have been the I, guy. I don't want to cut y'all off. I don't want to cut y'all off. I'm just watching NFL Network right now, and they showing off the beautiful Russell Wilson number three yeah. Pittsburgh Steelers home black jersey. Yeah. It looked gorgeous. It looked 
gorgeous. What they, oh, sorry. What are, oh, sorry. They selling in the, what are they selling in the store? Ooh. Huh? Does everybody, are all jerseys still available? Like, mm. I don't, I'm just, like, those are the things. No, I get it. That's, guess- that's, that's, that's what I'm saying. I, I think Russ is the starter, but I know you guys, uh, or we all know, like, I, I would have liked to seen Kenny be the starter next year. Like, I still think Kenny could have been the guy for us, but we're talking a little bit in hypotheticals there. And, yeah, you get Russ for a million dollars, a more proven thing. Who, yeah, I guess there could be a little bit risk there of him not living up or him aging on you quickly. But at the same time, it's not a risk because it's only a, a, a million dollar contract for one year. So it just it just makes flat out right business sense. Like it's yeah. it's a good move. And I think when you make this, like it's Russell Wilson. Like we we know it, we know what comes with. We know the leadership. We know the bravado he brings. Like all this stuff. Like there's there's an excitement here. Like I I can't I even deny it. There's an excitement. It brings a lot to your team. A lot of energy. It brings a lot to your team. You know? A lot. I think, uh, I mean, Sierra's going to be in the building. Now you got your own, like, kind of like, uh, you know, how they had how they had Taylor Swift. You got the Sierra in the building. Yeah. yeah big facts. Forward. You need one of them. You need one of them. It brings some finesse. Yeah, absolutely. Like, really good. like, what's Russ going to do? Like, it's going to give you a primetime game. Even though they're a primetime team and every game's a primetime uh-huh. game, it's going to give you a couple more primetime games, though. Like, they'll probably take a couple. Like you're, I think they're probably, saying Steelers versus Denver week one. Ooh. Yeah, I can see something like that. Early. Yeah, like, it's a story. I like it. It's, I like it. I think it takes away. It might give another Thursday game or two. It might, you know, like, it just, you, it gives you prime two. It's like you want to see Denver was on prime TV and they weren't. Yeah, even winning. no, that's facts. Like, but that's because you got Russ. When you got yeah, that type of dude, that type of guy, quarterback, yeah. yeah. Come yeah, on, see, man. Give the people what they want. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, do, do they don't play? I don't, they don't want to see a Seattle because they played Seattle last year, right? No, no, yeah. So. Uh, no, nah, just Denver though. But not get Denver. No, I'm talking. Yeah, I'm saying just, they got Denver this year, right? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. They got. They got. I think they got to rotate again for the Seattle thing. They got to wait for that one. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. I got to rotate a few, so you won't yeah. see like you won't get that story. But you know what I mean? There's so many storylines. Russ gives you storylines. No, yeah, it's just fan. it's just flat out. Yeah, it's a good move because if Russ don't work out, then you can cut and him. the people and they and they're gonna they're gonna keep that camera on Kenny. Like, oh yeah, they're gonna they're gonna test that. The same way they was putting that camera yeah. on Drew Locke and Devin, they could put that yeah. camera on Kenny, they said. Yeah, they're going to test that. They want to see if he's happy, is he not happy? Yeah. Wait, 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 what's really, that energy really looking like? Yeah. I feel what's like your energy like? too much. Me? No. Man, this is a wonderful I'm not time. enjoying this. I'm, I'm pushing through such a difficult... Co- hey, TG, it, oh, oh, man, I got some feedback, man. You, you, we loud over there? You turn me down a little bit, man. I, 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 I hear you in the background. Hear me. You can hear anything in the back. Hey, no, it, in the back. no, it, I can hear me. I'm good now. Whatever you just did, it changed it. All right, all right, bet, bet, bet. Yeah, but uh, no, no, man, I would never be enjoying this situation right now. No, You're no, no, Deke. I wouldn't be enjoying this, man. No, I, I just no, no, no. I'm, I'm saying you know, that, that aspect uh, we were just talking about. Love and football. Uh, and you know, the drama. not about, not uh, about Russ. Yeah, I get it. Ah, uh, you know, ah, uh, I get it. <laughs> But it is a vibe, though. Man, I mean, like you the said, people, they the people see want to see what's going to like. The people want to see. Because, I mean, you got to think like yeah, they're going to call nature. the competition. It's human nature. Absolutely. They're going to call the competition. Like, and like, the fir- I believe the first game of the, the first preseason game of the year, I believe Kenny will go out there the first game. I truly believe really? QB1. Like, in everything I know about in everything I know about Pittsburgh, Kenny's gonna go out there and take the first. It's snap. his job to lose, is yeah. what they say. <laughs> and they're gonna say it like that. Yep. But by game one, <laughs> Russ is gonna start. The fix is it, is what he say. I'm not going unless Kenny just goes out there and lights it up. But no, I don't respect. even see him be. Yeah, I don't even see the ability for that to come out because they're gonna. It's just not. They're not gonna like. I, my thing is stuff like this, like in the summertime, like when this thing comes up, mm-hmm. you know how they're gonna have throwing sessions and different. Everybody's things like going that. to Russ. Yeah, they're going to Russ then. Going you to know, Russ. if you maybe TG, they just do if it you're together. choosing, if you choose between Kenny hosting one and Russ hosting one, 
Which one would you be going to if you were a receiver for the Pittsburgh Steelers? Yeah, I gotta go to Russ. Yeah, but I don't think that's it. Maybe they throw together. I think Russ do it together. Maybe is smart just, move. Yeah, maybe Russ just super big bros this and just everybody. Let's all come together. Yeah, you know, and I can see him being that guy. Yeah, and I think that's why Russ is a good situation for this situation because he's not like a jerk about anything. Nah, like he's gonna, he ain't go Aaron Rodgers him. Mm. Yeah, he not gonna do that. Like he's yeah. gonna still like all right. Let's we a team. Yeah, you know. I think you'll even see a package or two, maybe where they both get in the game. Like, come on, you don't want that deep. Come on, bro, that's better than Wildcat, yeah. man. They keep your guy in the keep, yeah. you, keep you might no. see a, you might see, keep your guy in the jersey, man. You, like, come on, bro. Gonna make, they're gonna make it entertaining. Like, they're gonna Hell make this no. thing. They say, get get your man the double pass in there, or something, man. No. Yeah, yeah, you get, might get, see the if it's Russ, it's you know? Russ. You're, yeah, you're sticking with Russ. Let your man get a little throw in there, man. Give him some garbage time or something, man. Give some garbage time, bro. Yeah. Man, I hate, man. Yeah, man, get his name in the paper. Just, just participate. I think it's gonna help Pickens out a ton, though. Yeah, I think I think it's gonna totally change him, though. Oh, like I, mean, I think he. This is yeah. where Russ do when you talk about that deep ball. Yeah, but I even 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 more of him being the guy that they want him to be, like the mature. Mm. Uh, I think I think he'll DK Metcalf him in the sense of like yeah. little bro him, bring him in with him in a sense like mm-hmm. this is how we're gonna do it. You're my guy. I think he gets to go over to the X position now that uh, Deontay's gone. gone. Yeah. yeah, so he's going to get the one-on-one backside, mm-hmm. you know? Like, front side, he's not getting all the front side where he's going to get total backside yeah. work, so he'll get the back shoulder fade, he'll get the ghost, he'll get all that, mm-hmm. you know? And Russ can put that world. there consistently, yeah. too. That's the so thing, Russ, man. Russ throws it to the moon, man. Mm-hmm. Go get it. Yeah. You know? Which should benefit so. GP's game because we know – that's where he excels in terms of going up and getting it, dunking on people, making the circus yeah. catches. And that's one of Russ, even till even now, he still does that at a very, very high level, man. Yeah, you say whatever you want to say. Russ mm-hmm. is going to throw it deep, though. Yeah. He's going to take that shot. Mm-hmm. TG, where do you have Russ ranked? <laughs> In, uh, versus Kenny versus Kenny who who, who do you got no, ranked higher not that not that well cause they're competing it's Russ and Come Kenny on. competing you got Kenny in your top three I'm just asking yeah no, no, top this, three what no, this, that, is take, this, this is being Deke taken said out top of three Deke said have, top ten worst case scenario so it's I just I projected that for last year and uh and before no, we signed Russ right you now. said he was gonna be better than Russ I think he could I know I said I think he could for next year, yes, I think Russ <laughs> can light it up in this offense. I think Kenny could have. So that, really well so that's offense. why I just asked TG specifically. Like, yeah, well, is he better than Kenny? Is he ranked ahead of Kenny in your eyes? Yeah, he's better than Kenny. All right. Because if he's better than Kenny, he's gonna be elite. Because you got Kenny at the top. Come on, dude. You know you got to be the top, bro. You know you got to be the top, bro. You know this. You know you got to be the top, bro. This is this is complete <laughs> sarcasm right now. This Are you gonna get a Kenny? I don't, Are you gonna get a Rush jersey? Nah, I might have to, yeah. I might have to. We got to we got to see we got to see how this plays out. But so you've totally turned. Where totally is the l- Deke? See, yeah, this is totally this is right. Deke, that's three different ones. All right. You sound calendar. like you're gone. That's three in a yeah, calendar year, Deke. I just want to win. I love that. I want to win. I, I, I literally just want to win. So, but I think that's I think what we could have won with Kenny. Though. I think we could have won with Mason. And Russ is here. I don't see why we can't with Russ. Respect. I think the move says I just want to win. I yeah. think that's exactly what the move says. Like, look, I just want to win. It doesn't yeah. matter who's at the helm per se. It's no emotional feelings. I, I think that's what the move says more than anything. I just want to win, you know. And I think they did a good job of that. Like, look, man, I just want to win. Like, no, what? It doesn't matter. What it takes to win, we want to win, you know? So if you're Kenny, what what is the perspective or how you handle in that situation, man? Um, I think you gotta handle it like what we just said. Like I just wanna win. You know? Like no. I'm here to compete. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna do everything I can to win this. Like I like what you know? Well, the only reason I ask is because we think of how the end of the season played out when you know, just some of whatever was going on was going on. It just didn't look like everybody was on the same page. I just don't know if it's going like, to, I don't know if it's going to end on, I don't think it can't, because I think it's such a, it's such a career move. Mm-hmm. Like, you can just sit back and be quiet and be the good teammate. And that can work out for you. The Sam Darnold situation. That puts you, yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. While I like it can kill you too. Um mm-hmm. what was buddy name that he got traded from the Cardinals? Rosen, the, Josh Rosen. Yeah, yeah. Josh Rosen. Yeah. It's like I don't even know where he is he still in the league, you know? I don't think like, it worked out, bro. I think he Yeah, it, it happened he, fast. You know how it go. He played he played the good teammate role though. Yeah. Like I'm a good guy, I'm cool I'll with back it. Him like, up. I ain't tripping. Yeah. Whatever it takes to win. And it's like now you you went radio silent, you know? Yeah. Uh Tannehill, whatever it takes to win, you know? Mm-hmm. It's like it just it can go it just can go a ton of ways. And I know you could say those quarterbacks are different and whatnot, but it's it's situational, you know? Like it's really all very the same. All right. Well, it's, I don't know. I don't know. I'll just be honest. I don't know if he stayed like I don't know if it just he just stays just I don't know if it works out. Like I don't mean to say it like that, but it's almost like it's one of them like, man, do he demand a trade in a few minutes? Like, is he the best well, backup? That's the thing that we're trying to figure out to an extent. It's like <laughs> does he take it in stride and say, I'm here to compete, I'm here to get better, and I'm also here to learn from you know, Russ. But that that learn window could be so long though. I, it's know. Like, it, I know. You could say this is a year project, but this if Russ like hit, this. it could turn into an extension. Yeah, this, we know that. This yeah. could be this could be this is the quarterback. Yeah. This is where I finish. Like you know. All of that is <laughs> valid, bro. All of that is valid. But if you can though, pictures. but if you can and you the- play it wrong, it could put you in a bad situation in a hurry because the tape isn't, you know to an extent where he's going to have this robust market and that's you kind of get into that danger zone if you start playing that game you know kind of we you know, talked about some of these quarterbacks man man it's it's just a dangerous game to play like just to be able to just sit there and like yeah. all right we'll see what happens you know yeah because like like i'm i'm, I'm probably, it just can go wrong you know, you can sit there and you, get you a die there. Yeah, you sit there, and yeah, that's and they like will. It. That's your new label now. They don't view yeah. you as QB one. They view you as a I, good backup. I remember people used to always like I, mm-hmm. people. Like I heard yeah, a lot of people it's real, be like, bro. man, once you start, once you start lowering your market, your yeah, market that's low. your marker. Yeah, yeah. absolutely, bro. So, so it's like you kind of got to play that. It's a dangerous game. Like you know, like just you once you lower that market, once you once you go back to. You were making 10. Now you go back to making two. Uh-huh. You're making two. That's the number. Very true. You know? Very true. So it's, like, it's, it's just, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a dangerous game. You can say even like Baker. Baker never just was sitting, though. Nah. You know? Baker was always playing. Like, he was in the mix. And that's a what have you done for me lately league. You know, it can, you can get forgotten. And he just got broke off. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So then sticking with that side of the ball and we also uh shipped out one of our guys too man now now we was taking bets to see how you was gonna feel about this so uh, go ahead and tell me man do we, hey do we gotta give you credit do we give you props mm-hmm. for this you've been calling it for two years i told you they was gonna trade that that was way too expensive they needed to refinance that like a year ago that was this is this, that's what i was saying if we were actually gonna man, trade if him if we you missed was gonna the window. do it why you wait yeah. we missed the window yeah. we could have got a second rounder probably last year yeah they they held that they held that in the car note a little too long like but you know yeah. it was a good car what a time like it was like a race car you know good times a couple rough times lost the wheel a couple times but it was, what a time you know I, I just got in this argument like I think he's a good receiver. Like, I think he is an elite receiver. Like, I don't think he's a bum. TG, we're on you know the same I mean? page. I, we're on the same like, page. Like, I think he's a good receiver. He's real flashy. He does mm-hmm. stuff that can work. Man, I heard they was about to give him the uh, Mahomes. That would have got dangerous. Mm-hmm. That would have got dangerous. I'm glad. Well, like, that's what they said. They said the Steelers weren't going to ship him to the AFC. They said he we would have got yeah. much more in return. but Much more? Yeah, they said they didn't really? send him to AFC, though. That was the thing. Yeah. yeah. They said they got but way more back. Could, yeah. I don't think you could have gave that to Mahomes. Bro, him with Mahomes, he 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 would be in heaven, and Mahomes yeah. would be in heaven. Like, yeah, come on, bro. Over there. And for everybody that talked bad about him here, yeah. oh and man, he kind of got oh. that chip on the shoulder. Type. Yeah, he played like that. Yeah, type, like, come on, bro. Yeah, he'll he'll wear that. So yeah. Like, yeah, I, 
Send them over there. You want to? The yeah, yeah. They's like, you're not going to the AFC. Go, go, yeah. go get that NFC action. Hey, yeah. hey, hey, you know what? Go. Is is that is that is that a Bryce? Yeah, you go to Bryce. All right, you go play with yeah. Bryce of all places. That, that's where you're going. <laughs> Just like ew, bro. Of all places. <laughs> <laughs> that's like what Buffalo was back. In when I swear, we were when, we, when we was about to ship AB, remember? It was like yeah. yo, it's like yo, the Buffalo. Nah, you can't go there, bro. Like that yeah, was the mindset. Bro. Yeah. Like Carolina is not really getting primetime games right now. Not at it all, bro. Yeah. They are Sunday not, one o'clock. Sunday yeah, one o'clock. Sunday at one. You might get them on a Thursday. You'll see them on a yeah. Thursday. A couple nights. Yeah. A couple nights. They they won know? four o'clock games if they playing on the West Coast. That's about the only yeah. time they have four o'clock. You like, bro? You ain't yes. you don't, you not in prime time. You are a one o'clock team, and, bro. And they might not be the game you get. Like, yeah. You know how, you <laughs> if, know you, if you know, you know, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like, so that's that's just I thought he I thought he had a good time in Pittsburgh. I thought he was a good stealer, you know. He got paid, he won the lottery. Yeah. You know? I heard I read stuff that, that was like they didn't want him to influence Pickens in the sense of like his attitude and stuff. I had to Yeah, well, because he was basically, man, he wasn't happy with the QB one direction prior to Russell Wilson. And he, he was, was vocal about it. Yeah, him. he was vocal. He he dropped Mason Rudolph name, you know, verbatim. So but like, I think the day he it. did that was his, like, all right, it's yeah. over, over now. Yeah, I just know? think it's one of them things where, because I thought maybe it shifted once Russ got here. Maybe he cools off, team cools off, everything works. But to an extent, uh -huh. it's like, man, when you are taking this hard of a stance against the first-round draft pick, even if it's valid what you are saying, you can't say that publicly over and over and over again. Unless you are Antonio Brown or you one of these like hey, like art. elite elite, you're really good, really good. You can't make this much noise though, man. And that's what I kind of you know kind of how I interpreted it from the organization and why they would make this move. And I think you can make this move and feel a lot more confident when you got Russell Wilson back there really? versus if it's Kenny or Mason, Mitch or somebody like that. We like yo, we shipping DJ with one of them. Like nah, man, you tripping? We ain't got enough. With Russ, you feel a little bit better about if I draft something. Russ at least gives this guy a way better chance of developing a lot faster than if I'm putting this rookie quarterback or this young quarterback with a rookie receiver in GP talking about, all right, guys, develop. Yeah. And it's and it's kind of like, all right, now this like it's almost like, you know, how, like when you're it's all, like when when you're coming up in school, like. We got to separate the kids, like, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. you go over there and you go over there. The quiet like, ones over here, y'all loud yeah. trope, y'all got to go over there, bro. Y'all got to go yeah, over there because y'all y'all can't y'all can't pollute them. Mm -hmm. You go over there and you go over there. Like, that's what it feel like. Yeah. Like, you go over there and you go over there. And let's, let's, now let's figure it out. And we got some, per se, good guys in here. Yeah. What'd you think of the compensation? I thought they won that trade. I really did. Mm, like, talk I about thought it. they won that thing. Like, if you know, you know, that corner's talk a dog. Thank you. That corner's a dog. It was like, two, you don't remember like two years ago, Listen. people, like, he was, just, he was almost like one of the primes of the league. Like, he just got league. hurt. Yeah. That corner's a He's guy. A good dude, bro. Good player. Yeah. You just got to, that's a starting corner. That defense just got vicious. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you know, you know. Mm -hmm. Like, that's I'm like, you pairing that opposite vicious. of JPJ, yeah. bro. Like, yeah. And you got like you know we'll talk that defense you got you got you got that you, guy you know we're gonna talk this linebacker in a second we go we gonna talk this linebacker in a second you know we gonna talk this linebacker in a second player just 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 just, 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 just hold off that, just, just like, hold off that. you know he did he said he said that's the one I don't care I what y'all talk about go get me that one I want that one yeah facts but it's like you got a starting corner you get a draft pick. And it's not like it's like six, seven. Like I seen uh, who got traded the other day, and they and they oh, only the receiver gave him boy, like, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, God, where was it traded? Uh, Judy, Judy, Jerry, Judy, yeah, Jerry, Judy, yeah, Jerry, Judy, yeah. And what get a six and a seven for? Yeah, fifth, like, and six. fifth and a six, yeah. A fifth and a six, like they didn't really get nothing. Like you get yeah. a, a a nice little pick, like. You can you can get something with that, or at least flip it. That's my thing. I'm like, man, we got a ton of compensation draft wise that we can pair together if we need to move up. But when you get in some of these moves at the prices, I'm like, Russ for one point two, that yeah. opens up a lot of doors. 
Yeah. And shoot, even the LB that we just picked, that we're going to talk about him. It's like, even with that, I'm like, man, three for 41. You seen what Tremaine Edmonds signed for last year? You seen yeah. what Roquan signed for? Weird. Fred Warner signed for? Yeah. Yeah, it could have got weird. Mm -hmm. It could have got, it could have got out of hand. Like, yeah, he probably could have went, but that market, you know, the market. But I mean, I don't know. I thought they won that trade. I think they got the best linebacker in the free agency. Mm -hmm. I think that's the best off ball linebacker in free agency you was gonna get this year. I personally thought that. Like, you know, facts. I think De I think Devin White's a dog, but I think Queen that was Jungle the best too, though, bro. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think in free agency right now, I thought that was the best off ball one you could get. You know, and it's in in conference. Mm -hmm. So now, so now you get something that's like, oh yeah, I get to go across the street. Now I want I want to see y'all. You know, and I do remember that route, that out route that you run in practice all the time. I'm waiting. <laughs> you know that, he, you know he got one of the plays. He's like, "Yo, I'm yeah, gonna get this I'm, one. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna on get that. that one." Yeah, yeah. You know, you always was everybody got to play. Everybody got to play. Facts, bro. Everybody had. If one. I ever see them, I would jump. This. Yeah, like right. bro, I, run this if you want to. <laughs> yeah, and he in the middle of the defense. Like it's like that's. I think that's the linebacker. I was saying that that's the linebacker they've been trying to find since mm -hmm. Shazit. Like Swear. they've been looking for him since the Shazit. Mm -hmm. So it's like I think that's the guy they've been looking for. I really do. Um, I don't, I I think they won that trade. I think they got a corner. That's a guy they got mm -hmm. draft picks. I think they won that trade, and they get that money off their pocket. Like they yep. get they get all that that headache. They not. I don't want to just call him a headache, but he you know because this is headache. the thing. It's like can all of this be true? Is him complaining about the quarterback situation, the offense situation? Are those complaints valid? Yes. But at the same time, could that be deemed cancerous in the locker room? Yes. Well, you get, yeah, you got the Mitch stuff you know I mean? too that popped up last year. Him and yeah. Minka, the no effort on the fumble, mm -hmm. the tackle. The guy. Like, there's been, there's been yeah. like little things that pop up, right. little things, but, but it still should be frustrated. Yeah, ultimately, I, n I never thought of Deontay as like a bad teammate or a bad guy for the Steelers. I never did. But there have been just, like, little things, especially if you're talking about, like, setting an example for Pickens. Yeah. Like, Deontay is the dude that got the contract extension. Like, mm -hmm. the guy that the Steelers believed in to, I don't know, become a leader, I guess you could say. Like, that's yeah. that's what they think of guys that are growing in-house and get that get that bump up in pay and yeah. just with how things played out two years after he got the extension they're probably just thinking like yeah I think it, I think this is the time this is the time to part ways I think it was time <laughs> I thought it was time you know I, you knew it was coming if like, this year would have played out uh, if we would have known how this year played out with Deontay I would have said absolutely I mean I was even yeah. saying absolutely too last year if we would have got Jordan Addison but I think for what he cost where he costs, you put him in conversations with Stefan Diggs. You put him in conversations with, like, uh... But you, you gotta Metcalf. think, though, them dudes is getting, what, 24, 25? Where well, he was in the... He was right, only so getting 18. 18. He's, like, 7 or 8 less. He, yeah. What I'm saying is he's up there in them ranges where you're talking about an elite, like, who, 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 who's, in, who's getting that? Cause pull up, pull up. Eighteen. Uh, I'm like, because Renfro was what in that fifteen. Calvin Ridley 17? just got uh, like twenty four or something. Yeah, Calvin Ridley just signed he, three for ninety. Yeah, yeah. And it's not like he's Where that much better than Deontay. To the Titans, he got three for okay. ninety to go to the Titans with like fifty guarantees. No, four, four, four for ninety. Oh, four, four for ninety two. Excuse me, four for ninety two. What's that? Yeah, yeah but that's like, way overpaid. It's like twenty two, twenty three. But that's what we saying though. In terms of DJ, he's being 18, 18, 18. Who's in that category? Christian Kirk. Yeah, yeah, Christian Kirk's another guy. They yeah, said, yeah, yeah I he think his, he might be getting though. eighteen. Yeah, he got way over. Pay. But think about but it, he remember. he got his deal before DJ. Yeah, he said that market that yeah. year. But you remember DJ was like a steal, but he's still in that convo with them. Like, what? Who else is in that? Are any of them exes? Hold on. So he brought Lock it, TJ Lockett. Lockett. All those, all those, but all those guys you're naming are like the slot. All those guys you're naming are playing. God like went at twenty. Keenan Allen. Front, at but you, you hear him? God went at twenty. Keenan Allen at twenty-five. You said twenty at twenty. But. But those are those are backside one on one guys. DJ Moore at twenty. Those are backside one on one guys. Those are the guys you got to double team. You got to either put that double over them, mm -hmm. or you got to force that double to the front side. Like yeah. you know what yeah. it is. No, facts. So it's kind of like for what the position he was playing to the value he was getting. Yes, it was very cheap. But the position he was playing to the value he was given in the sense of what that job requires. Yeah, what it requires. I bet like, you. Yeah. yeah. 
He's just, he's like out of the guys you can right. name. He's that's not, like not a scary yeah. enough to be an that's ex. That's not scary yeah. enough. Yeah, and that's why typically we would say most X are big body, down the grass yeah. type of guys, and A B was probably the one of the only ones that we've seen here where but you could get that little yeah, that's what we're saying. He was one of the only ones that gave you small stature but played big. Steve Smith. Yeah. So it's rare. And people always praise Steve Smith because he'll run that route yeah. from there. Like he'll be that guy. Uh -huh. reason, if you think about it, it was a lot of third and ones, fourth and twos mm -hmm. that he'll get that fade ball. Yeah, big facts. And it's like they big count facts. that like you gotta count it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So it's like for for that spot, it just I think that it just yeah. wasn't that. Now that you makes know? sense. So in terms of replacing him, then do you envision us going big body receiver or I another move, true route runner? Because DJ is a route runner, and that's the one thing that separates George him. Over. You move George over, like he gets all that now. Yeah, he the X now. Yeah. Yeah, you go get another one. Okay. You see what I mean? You go get another one. But you can get a receiver in the draft. Like, oh yeah, the draft is loaded with him. And you got a QB what? that you feel confident yeah. in as well. And he might attract something. Something might come, yo. I want to still play with you, or that's my. Good, you know how it goes. Hey, hey, hey! I was gonna say if we if we talking, oh, damn. you much would Tyler rather Boyd. sign with Russ than if you were yeah. saying I got to sign to play with Kenny. Nothing against yeah, Kenny, but that's the reality of it. Like you would take, maybe, yeah, I'm gonna take a oh, chance damn. on that one versus like that one. Said, yeah, I think like you just people want to play with a Russ. Like yeah. he attracts people. People want to play with that. Yeah, you know. You get something. It's some names out here that this names you're not even thinking about. Like you get something. It's who, the who early names right now. You know, with some receivers TG, out here, I mind? feel like I'm missing yeah. somebody. The, the, who, the, who, the who name I'm playing? thinking is Tyler receiver. Boyd. That's, that's who most Tyler people Boyd. Thinking. I like him a lot. Okay, but D, but but TG that's, said that's, Tyler Boyd ain't what I think it is though. He said he don't think it's that. I don't think it's with you. Yeah, you, you don't think it's that. I like it as like, yo, GP, like you my man didn't come. In, but I thought this was going to be with him being the third guy. I thought like I got DJ, yeah. GP, and T-Boyd. This is about to be T-Boyd trying to be number two. That's a different convo. I like T, but I think T-Boyd's still that guy. But I think okay. T-Boyd in the slot. I like T-Boyd in that slot. Yeah, yeah so baby, that's what I'm saying. Like, we, we need an extra person then. for him yeah. to move in because right that's now he's going to be on the outside. Just gotta, it just needs to be another person. Yeah, we Ooh. short one. But you got a whole draft. It's all. It's still. Well, Mike hometown, Williams right? just got released. These are. That's what I'm saying. Like it's guys that you're not even thinking Hunter about. Hunter Renfro, Curtis Samuel. They said go get Justin there? Jefferson, man. He ain't happy. Michael Thomas. No, you can't forget go get that. Justin, man. He ain't happy. Yeah, he like ain't a happy. Michael Thomas. That's an interesting name. You know, like who else did you say? But didn't who Michael Thomas? No, no. But I thought Michael Thomas just felt a physical again. I thought he won. I thought he was hurt. Well, he got Stay caught. Here. He's, I mean, he's. But like with the Phil, I thought it was the Phil physical on the why. thing, though. Yeah. But I think he's still yeah, like a person. Time, like, maybe he'll pass it. Yeah. yeah. For Once sure. You, for you, sure. You, I think that's a long time. He'll be ready by the season start, and that's going to be a person like you might get a cheap superstar type. For sure. You know what I mean? For Marquise sure. Brown. Hollywood. I don't think Hollywood is what you're looking for. I would agree. I think it's yeah. a lot more of the name. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think that's what you're looking for. Mm -hmm. But, you like a you Braxton know? Barrios? He rides you up though. Yeah, like yeah. Slot, right? yeah. You still need to bring in another receiver. Because I'm like, I, I would have him compete with Calvin Austin if anything. Like I like yeah. that. I like buddy that was Mark Williams that just got released Claypool. from the Chargers. Like I like something like that. Yeah. Or I like. Did like, you say Claypool? You know? Did you say Claypool? No. Body receiver. <laughs> no. Hey, look, we go just draft something. All right, we we, we go ahead and just draft something. Bring in T Boyd Bruh. and then draft something. That could work. It's just a but bummer because I wanted to use those draft picks. As we sit right now, I just wanted to spend those on O-line. Get a yeah. center and get a right tackle. But even while you're playing, don't sleep on a Claypool name. I just don't I don't know if the, the breakup was that terrible. All right. Now, Steve Anders brings up DJ Chark. What about him? Big body. I, I like that. Speed. That's big speed. Yeah. Big speed. Yeah. I like, that's, what I, that's the example I'm giving. Like, it's so yeah. many names you have, you're not even thinking about. You know what I mean? You're just talking about the big premier names. Like, right. it's some guys some out here. Some, 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 yeah. the, 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 the second wave of the free agency cast. Yeah. Yeah. That the one, second bro. wave like, of the free agency. Yeah. Like, Allen Robinson last year. That's like, the second like, wave cat. That was, yeah. yeah. Big facts. It's some big names facts. out here that receivers, like, some guys you can go get. Yeah. That will go get them. That will go do that. Nah, that's big facts right there, bro. That's you big You could facts. definitely get Chark on the cheap coming yeah. off of uh, yeah. Carolina season right. last year. And with a Russ, and it's a lot. And, fly. Yeah. and with a Russ, like, that's a lot more appealing to those yeah. type of receivers. They play harder for twos like Russ. That they work you for you, bro. I mean? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. You can go get that what you're what you're talking about. Yeah. 
<laughs> and you still draft. You got. I don't think the whole draft's going to. I think they're going to draft. They're going to draft. Uh, they're going to. They're still look. If they don't get a safety in these next few minutes, you're going to see that they're going to draft a safety. They're going to draft a. Uh, I, you think they bring gonna, another they're corner draft, in still? They're going to. They're going to draft two linemen. They're going to draft a safety. I don't think they're going to – they might draft a corner late, but they got that corner coming back who got hurt last Trice. year too. Yeah, but what do you know about him? He was a seventh rounder. He got hurt, what, first but week they of training camp? Though. Yeah. They were saying good things about him. Though. This is true, but we talking about your third corner potentially. I feel that though. But that's then, what that's I'm saying, thing, yeah. But I think that's once again a market like you do bring back – I think that gets vetted. That's okay. somebody like uh because we've been doing that the past three years, whether it was Shannon yeah. Sullivan, whether it was Arthur yeah. Mallet, uh who was it was another cat we had before him. Damn, I'm drawing a blank. But the past couple of seasons we done had that like vet mm. league dude just come through for you know one to two mil and they come play at a high level. So we didn't we've been living like that. I think that gets bet. So I think they're gonna bring a corner in still. Yeah. Like I don't think they're done. They're obviously not done yet. Now but I think- I seen some people even bringing up in terms of your wide receivers. They was talking about Hunter Renfro and Juju Smith Schuster. Don't sleep on Juju. I would love Don't Juju back. It. I promise I would love Juju back, bro. Don't sleep on I it. Like, I would love it back. I would love it back. I I'm saying it right now. Everybody I'm might out. not agree with me. He a social media guy. That's all good. I was even liking the pick he dropped yesterday. He, he had his little lady, but he he ain't letting nobody know who she is yet. All right, but I, I even mean, like that pick. Saying, I'm down for he's his Super Champ. His Super Champ. Bring him back, bro. Him and him and uh Russ could be nice. Oh, and, and I'm going to just drop it for you real quick. Your man Bobby Wagner just signed one for 8.5 to the Commanders with 6 oh mil guaranteed, bro. <laughs> just <laughs> dropped. Yeah, the Commanders. the Commanders. One for 8.5. We got Patrick Queen for what, 13, huh? That's kind of crazy, bro. That's kind of crazy. I don't know how I feel. I don't think I like the Commanders for him. I, 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 I see why he did that. I don't know well, because he got 8.5 with 6 guaranteed. That's why he did it. <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah. <laughs> so but, you know that's why he did it, bro. What man that went yeah. from Seattle to that? He didn't went from L.A. to that? Come on, bro. Yeah. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. But when it's 8.5, it's six guaranteed. I can, see the, I can see the Magic Johnson connection in there. Yeah. Like, you, yeah. you see what he playing it? He playing the long yeah. game. He, this is retirement. All, yeah. But that's where he's at right now. That's Good why I connection. said Washington is, Yeah. yeah he's, he's a total. That's why I was uh-huh. telling you. I'm like, don't sleep on Pittsburgh with him. I yeah. thought you were there. Hey, 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 hey. it's time to align brands. It's time it's time yeah. to start just envisioning yeah. what the you next step complete. is. He's, okay. He's yeah. Completely at that stage. You know like, what time it is, bro. Yeah. yeah. Yo, is so there another like, linebacker we bring in? Legit, there there could be. Isaiah Simmons might not be bad. I love it as a flyer because it's cheap. It's very athletic. But I if think you can get cheap. a cheap if you can get yeah. Isaiah Simmons, he's good, man. I think it'd be cheaper. I think so too. because it's not. It go, hasn't he's getting produced like a enough. Yeah, it hasn't produced year. enough. Go just cover. Yet. Yeah, go but cover. he could do that. Like minimize. That's the it. one thing you're missing in the yeah. room. Simplify it for him. It also takes the pressure off of Cole Holcomb having to be ready by week one after coming back from a blown out knee, and it takes even more pressure off of E Rob having to figure out: Am I gonna blitz every single time, or y'all gonna have me trying to run the two men or or run the t- the middle on Tampa too? And fighting that fight. Talking? Yeah. It's like, he ain't trying to do that yeah. all the time, bro. That's a fight for him. It, it low-key kind of kills it. Yeah. It, it does. Like, it does. Yeah. Kind of like. It, but as long as Holcomb is still recovering, time. he was the cheapest but, that we signed. So that's the I'm part where I think he though. can still survive it. I'm going to be real, though. Patrick Queen is like a high flower. Like, he's not a I brain. Know. But he is a brain. Uh huh. But he's he's a body. But he's not a body. He he, he, he he's athletic. He's physical. But it's like yeah. yeah, he he checks off a lot of stuff. But yeah, my big he, thing, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. You're not gonna leave him on your tight end just all day, right? You know. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, you, you can't. Can he can go exactly. Yeah. Yep. You know. Like he he can do really anything you need him to do. Like, if you want him so to zone it up, like, he could do the zone. If you want him to blitz, he could blitz. Is he yeah. the guy you want blitzing every time, like Vince yeah. Williams? And that's no, like, that's basically yeah. you know, you know exactly uh-huh. what I'm like I don't know if they absolutely want another, they want a brain or they want a body. With yeah, because it's kind of like you can go get a body and make him the brain. Yeah, or you can let him run. Right. And that's why you I think he him. pairs well with E. Rob. He pairs well with Cole Holcomb, and he pairs well with uh, Isaiah Simmons because of how versatile he is. And that's the part where it's like, this is See, why I, I thought he like got forty, it. but this is why I think he got yeah. the forty versus the seventy, eighty, or a hundred. 
because we I like him that. in all of those areas, but we yeah. both are saying the same thing. I don't want to just leave him on the tight end for the whole game. I wouldn't want to leave him on McCaffrey the whole game. I don't want to blitz him the whole game. I mean, I'm, I'll am i be honest. I, I loved him in college. I love LSU defense. Yeah. Like, I loved him since college. You know what I mean? And he was always kind of like one of them guys like, like, I, I always liked him. Mm-hmm. I openly admit that. I always liked his game, you know? So I'm kind of like, he he's like, He's like one of them guys that he can do a lot for you. Yeah. It, 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 I don't want to say a jack of all trades because he's above that. You know what I mean? Like he's he's a he's he's, he's a really, legit like he's a legit he's player. Legit. Yeah, he's legit. He's what you think you're getting. That's a yeah. steal. That mm-hmm. number is a steal. He probably could have got way more. Yeah, I think I think at the same time, I think he looked way better being right next to yes. that Superman next to and him. That's that the last question. It's you the Bud I mean? Dupree. Yeah. It's that question. Yeah. It's, are you bud when you're with TJ Watt or are you bud without TJ? Yeah. yeah, it's like that's and, what does that look and, like? Yeah. And that's one of the things I was gonna say. I don't love Isaiah Simmons and him together. Mm-hmm. I'm kinda like, he might be the body. I Ooh, it might be you robbing him for respect. You know what I, mean? I see and exactly let, what you're saying. Yeah, I see exactly yeah. what you're saying with that. I yeah. don't know that he's the brain. I think he's the run. I seen him run a lineman over and get to the ball. Oh, like, he do that. Like, yeah. I so to he, me, that's he a gonna, great play. He will hit you, but, bro. He will but hit you. to me, at the same time, that says you're in the wrong spot to start I with. I would agree as play. well. You get, yep. You see what I'm yep. wrong? Uh-huh. So, it's like, I, I like him. I think he's the the body. Like, I think he, go get it. Go hunt. Mm-hmm. Let me give you a brain to A. If you got any questions, ask this. No. You know? Like, I know you'll be straight, but anything, yo. You know what I mean? So, the Vince Williams, the yeah. you know, the foot. Like mm-hmm. I think he's the he's the LT, he's the Shazier, he's that one. He's yeah. the the body, you know? Mm-hmm. Respect. Respect. And like I said, yeah. for three for forty one. Doesn't kill it. T G you got him in the top ten right now? Just off the top of your head? Linebackers? Yeah. Yeah. I think he's a top ten off ball linebacker. I like I like him. He's my top ten, you know. He's for sure in my top ten. Like he's a guy, like you know, Fred. Uh, I mean, Fred, yeah, the Ravens and the Niners uh, had the two best yeah, inside linebackers. That's what I was like. I mean, you I think it was Roquan, Pat. It was Roquan yeah. and Queen, Fred uh, Green. I'm like, bro, yeah, he one of them ones. He in there. He in there. I like him. Yeah. He's in that Greenlaw combo. Right. That's he's what I'm like. That. He's one of them names. Yeah. yeah. And we but like, like Greenlaw. He's better than Edmonds. I think I he's would agree. Than he, he, but I, and, and that's why I was surprised that he got less. But I think because of. Him playing next to Roquan, yeah. that's part yeah. of it. Yeah, yeah. But I think he's better than Edmonds. Yeah. I think I think he's better he, he's, than everybody. He's a more else. athletic player than Edmonds. Edmonds, yeah. like that's the, the the big alien predator type in there. That's different than yeah. what, what Queen's doing. Yeah. But I like him more than that. I like him more than Patrick Queen personally. I like him more than I like him more than I like uh, Levante, and I love Levante. I like him no, more no, than no. I Levante like. is older. What about Devin White? Yeah. When Devin White. I, that's what I'm saying. That's I, what I like him okay. more than I like Devin White. That was the one I, that I wanted. Okay. I like him more than Devin White. Matt Milano. And I, I like Devin White, but I like, I, I think he's just. Why are you playing, I think dude? he's a linebacker. <laughs> Tomo, Tomo, got- Tomo, 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 Tomo. <laughs> Deke think he's slick, bro. So we over here, we talking linebackers. He going to say, what about Matt Milano? <laughs> Anything for the Buffalo beef, huh? Anything yeah, for Buffalo like beef. That's crazy. Like that. Boy, you better stop lying. You better stop that. I like him more than that. Though. No, you I don't. Really Milano? Boy, you do. man, no, you do not. No, you do, do not. No, you do not, bro. Do. No, you do not. There is no way you're I saying do. that. Stop it. I seriously stop do. It. I really do. Stop You know it. I'm a, a linebacker. I'm listening life. to you. If I any I, Kool-Aid, this is the Kool-Aid please. I do like. All right. All right. It, look, 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 look. Entertain me. Listen, 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 listen. This is, the listen, cool listen. This is what I can make. TG, like. this this is our last talk at me being 35. I'm 36 tomorrow. So Man. I want to be entertained. All right. I, I, I want to and, and you know I appreciate you, my dog. You already know, but I want to be entertained today. All right. So so please help me to find some laughter. How do you see Patrick Queen? As better than Matt Milano. Or is it because Matt Milano is hurt? You just being literal, like, ah, right, he got hurt this year, so that's why he better than him. Because no, I mean, it can't be what you've seen prior to this first time Matt's been hurt. It can't. I'm just trying to. I like to... Matt Milano. 
Matt Milano swag. You, you, like, that's kinda, the swag one, not the big one with yeah. the dress that was in, but that, that, yeah. that, that, that's the one they shipped to Chicago. We, yeah. we had Milano. He's still that that one. That's Patrick, what you talking about. Patrick, Patrick Queen's like a pit bull. Like he's one of those pit bulls. Like he's one wow. of those. Wow. So now yeah. you coming at because my dog is a little. Wow. No, he's just a pit bull, bro. This like I don't think bro. you like, dog, like the, I like Queen. I like Queen a lot. Bro, I've been watching tape on. Yeah. I like Queen this a lot. I just don't think you respect anything out of buffalo and i think that's your problem bro because there's no way you're telling me patrick queen is nicer than matt milano i hate the fact that you already got me nice debating against we just signed this cat bro and you already got me up here about to go at i don't want to do this today bro stop this man stop, nice it. stop it stop it stop it stop it i'm not about to do this today i am not doing this today listen i am so happy i am so happy for patrick Queen coming here, okay? I am not about to talk bad about Patrick Queen and compare him to Matt Milano. I'm going to just leave it alone. Shout out to Patrick Queen. Shout out to the LSU Tigers. I'm so happy that he's here, and I'm going to just leave it at that, bro. You leave it. Y'all, we, we do this thing. We do this thing. No, no, no. no. He just signed. He just signed, TG. He just signed. Bro, no. dog, though, bro. He just signed, bro. He's a dog, bro. He he's just signed, bro. Dogs, bro. It, the fact that your first thing to bring up is he got he a dog. Like, it's a pit bull. Bro, I'm like, bro, dog, so now you bro. coming at Milano like he ain't got that. He ain't even, oh, my God. He's a dog, bro. Like I said, this, like I said, you know, I'm not doing know, this today. Bro, I'm not doing dog. Not old Queen. It, Queen just signed. He got great news. I don't want when he search his name. He got to pull up his seat. Well, day most talking lovely about me and all these other clips. Then he get over with TG. Bro, and now he's telling me I, I ain't better than Matt Milano, man. I'm just saying I ain't going for that, bro. I don't want the first time that Patrick Queen hears from me, <laughs> it be me talking bad about him compared to Matt Milano. I, uh, uh, nope, 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 nope. It's, it's all up. I think it's a different <laughs> it's all game up. style. It's all up. I get to that. I think it's a different style of play. Fair enough. We, we, there I we go. I think it's a different style of play. I, I, I would Patrick agree. Queen, be, Queen Patrick is downhill. Queen's a little bit more physical. Yeah, he's he more downhill. downhill. Milano is more. I'm gonna get you these picks. I'm gonna go get these yeah. books. That's what he's going to Milano, do. Facts. Milano, is my. You know, yeah. I like the flavor. Oh, are, you already flavor. know, bro. Yeah, That's, we're on the same page. Yeah. yeah. Milano want to get. Milano's yeah, he trying to go get the. the he ball. could. Yeah, he want the ball. Yeah. yeah. He wants the ball. He's mm -hmm. taking ball every play. Yeah. Patrick Queen might take your head yeah, off. He gonna he gonna drop something. Facts. Yeah. If it ain't no work around, he hitting something. Yeah. He'll go get the ball. Yeah. But like we said, versatile as that can do all of it, but yeah, that's but he that's might the thing. take your head off. That's and the thing. He's gonna bark at you. That he definitely gonna, gonna bark. Milano, he ain't, he ain't doing Milano looking like, good with the Ray Bands on while he cook you, bro. He yeah, cook you yeah, in his GQ with it, fam. That's why Milano I'm like, could be a Milano could play for the Chargers. Facts, I don't like that to clean on the Chargers. I don't like you him out there that? either. I agree with yeah. you on that. Milano facts. could play in California facts. and be like facts. I agree California with you on that. Line, that's facts. You know, that's facts. No, I'm, I'm, we're on the same yeah. page. But yeah. that's the also I would say part of the discussion. I, I love whoever, whoever Patrick Queen. Them people stayed in the AFC North. He like, I don't want to go nowhere else. Bro, he I hot. Be in the Big East. Uh huh. Like, I want, I want to see all y'all. I want to be in the Big Ten and play Big Ten football. Yeah, like, I wanna, yeah. I want to be in the cold weather when it, in November. I love it. Yeah, like I want to be here. In fact, let's go across the street. And this like, is the thing too. I'm sure to an extent he remembers them going to get Roquan Smith because they didn't believe no, in him. If, I'm it sure wasn't Roquan Smith. Yeah, all it right. was them going to get Trenton Simpson. No, 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 no. Listen, year. look, look. They got Trenton also, but they went yeah. and traded for Roquan and gave him the hundred. That was yeah. the first move. You're not doing that if you believe that Pat Queen going to be the guy you're going to pay. That would have been like us going to go get something like that when we got Shazier on the roster. We won't do yeah. that. They went and, and did that. Drafted Come on, bro. Like, yeah. Bro, you know about him. He's a yeah. dog. Oh, facts. That's that's the little puppy in the making. Yeah. I yeah, already like, peeped that. Yeah. Running his. Yeah. Like, right. Queen, though. like they're nah, just not, doing not, the model. Nah, he nah, just he ran out. Yeah. Like, it's not that he was a bad player in Baltimore. No. They just ran out of time with that whole facts. model. Like, facts. we got another version up in here. Facts. So that's my thing. I'm like, bro, you get a low key, a little bit of a pissed off. I'm trying to show you what's up twice a year when y'all see me, man. Yeah. Yeah, and I want to eliminate you somehow. Oh, I got to do that. You know, it feels good. I want to put you out of something. Come on, man. I want to break your heart. I know, I know Lamar. Like I grew up with him, type. Like I can't, yeah. you know. Yeah, facts, bro. So, facts. Now they did bring in that boy Derrick Henry over there now, huh. and they did go get that. Ah, uh, but to me, I'm gonna be honest with you. Talk, like, make me I feel better. Think, Come on, make me feel better. Yeah, it just doesn't gas me like that because they had Dalvin in there, and that that running back committee they had last year was mm -hmm. Derrick Henry. Like, don't so it's not like Facts. that's just a big name. 
Like this they've is, been running the ball. Like that yeah. running game was that run game. Like oh, one hundred percent. Schematically, schematically, it's a nightmare to deal with because you yeah. got a quarterback that will legit pull it and can go. What I'm saying is this. Dalvin at that when they put him out yeah. there last year, they not use they won't use Dalvin him like yeah, but they ain't use like, him like Derrick Henry though. They no, but think about it, they got that in the middle of the season. But, in fact, but it was the end of the season. I'm saying you got go Derrick Henry, combo. you got Derrick Henry, and you actually are compensating him too. Yeah, I feel it. That's, That's the part I'm where I'm like, like kinda... I think it's very different, but I'm still worried about just the scheme. It's effective for any running back. But you got Derrick Henry back there right now, who still went for twelve hundred last year. Yeah, I mean he's still Derrick Henry. Right. But, but I think I don't. I mean I just I think you get the run defense against him. Ooh, like he attracts okay. the, You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you get the run defense. Oh yeah, we're going against base him. personnel for certain when yeah. he's out there. No, it, it, there is no like, no. Maybe they got you know a little running back out there. Nah, uh-uh. this is Derek this is Henry heavy is heavy run, run the guy. Heavy heavy like, run tendency. Yeah, yeah, not, yeah. not going to do anything in the past game. Heavy heavy run tendency. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Like he's a run the whole guy. Like he breaks it, he breaks, and yeah. he's fast, and he's Derrick Henry. He's King Henry. He's right. the king. But he's still a run the whole guy. You know what I mean, bro? But this is he's the like, issue though. So like, if, I'm like so, Dalvin was scarier than Derrick Henry to me. I think I'm scarier saying, in terms of total offense. But what's scarier as yeah. a linebacker if you have to account for Derrick Henry? And then you still one of y'all got to account for what if Lamar actually pulls this thing? If he pulls this, but I think with Dalvin, Dalvin finds that hole. True. I think Derrick Henry runs. You know what I mean? Derrick, Derrick Henry's gonna run through your face, side. though, bro. Yeah, no, he does. He, he gonna try to. He runs through like DB's face. Fair. He runs through like. Oh, you talking about in terms of the box, in terms of the linebacker stuff? That's yeah, what you're saying in terms I'm of saying, Dalvin I'm Cook will cut it backside. Yeah, Dalvin will cut that thing back. Yeah, he'll hit all about like, the backside. Yeah. Yeah, how do you find that? Yeah. Like, Derrick Henry runs where it's supposed to go. He's just a train. Yeah. If you're not there, it's gone. Like, it's a runaway train. But a you lot know? of people find reasons to not be there is what I'm saying. I get that. You know how it go. Yeah. I, I like how you put A that. lot of people find a way to just, <laughs> ah, man, I that's like just bad, bad it. angle right there. Ah. Like, ah, I didn't. Man, I, I ain't mean I to backdoor that. Ah, I thought I could have got that. No, you didn't. I you lie. You, you know you ain't do that. Yeah. I like how you put that. Yeah. I love how you put that. If I'm lying, tell me I'm lying, bro. You've I'm seen the same thing it. I've seen, bro. You, I'm feeling that. A lot of people find a lot of reasons to not be there. You just find it just weird angles like, that's the angle you want to take? Why you take yeah, that, that angle all of a sudden? Like that was coming with me. You found a reason <laughs> to not be there. I'm taking that one. That's me. Now. You know it's okay. true. Yeah. You you see tape that I've seen. You like, bro, how you take that angle? Any other guy you're not you looking know, like that. You know, yeah. A lot of people but they would do that. Not- yes. <laughs> It's like, yo, I, I wasn't scared. I just, I, I just had a bad angle, bro. Like, ah, oh, yeah. yeah, bad read. I'm sure. Man, I thought yeah. that line was Why? Oh, right. Yeah. I got it. I see what you see. Yo, you funny, bro. <laughs> you are funny. Hey, TG, we were talking about uh, safeties. Which one do you want if you had to pick one that's out there right now? Justin. Uh... Justin Simmons. <laughs> it, it's being thrown out there that we're in, we're in the mix see? out of like five teams. There's five teams and we're one of them. If you get Justin Simmons, that's the guy. But I don't think. What about Cam Curl? Adam Miami. That was Say, Washington. He was in Washington, right? Yeah, yeah he, he got, Washington. He got yeah. cut. What's his name? Cameron. Curl. Like Cameron with the with the uh, it's like K A M R. It's like R E N, right? Yeah. 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 He's all right. He was in D C. Yeah, yeah, with the commander ship. Okay, I don't. He was all right. I'm not uberly hip to his game. I need to get more familiar. And I kept up with D C football. I'm not uberly, uberly hip. He's a guy, though. Yeah, I know he's got a name. Yeah, I think I put him too. After, like, if we don't get Simmons, I probably want him next. He's next. Is he next on the list? What about? That's what I would. It, I, I think so. I mean, you, got, you just I signed with Warriors Miami. Poor you signed with Miami. Buddy, that was the I one I wanted. Just signed with Miami. That's that was the I one was I wanted, like, bro. Yeah, yeah, from Buffalo, I wanted him. Yeah. yeah, I thought that was the one. I was mm-hmm. like, they should get that and match that with Mika, and that'd be nice yeah. back there. Yeah, I would have loved that one. Did he sign? He signed with Miami. Yeah, he signed with Miami. Yep. Yeah, but Justin Simmons player. is interesting. We still got plenty of money, though. You can draft People in the chat are talking about a, a Tyler Boyd deal is in the makings right now. I would hope so. I think a Tyler I Boyd see. deal is. is it? I we could definitely do Boyd and Simmons. Yeah. Like, there's n- no reason why we could. Now, now, the homie Rod Dollars brought up Jamal Adams, you know, the best in the nation. How you feel about him? No, I wouldn't. You don't want the best in the nation? I like Jamal Adams, though. If you can get a Jamal Adams, you bring him on your team. Mm-hmm. But I think Jamal Adams is like, 
I think he changes your defense in a sense. Like, so yeah. how you're saying, yo, do I go get a third you, you're corner? A four, three. That, you're a 4-3. You're a 4-3 defense yeah, all of a sudden. I was about to say, I think that is the third <laughs> corner now. So yeah. where it's like, all right, that's – that is your nickel, yeah, like, bro. Yeah, yeah, that's your nickel. Like that's that. your backside wheel. That's yeah. yeah. We know what that is. <laughs> you see how I see it? I think it just changes the defense. Like you a fool, bro. <laughs> How do we want to run this? Hey, hey, that, he now. was like, I don't want to call him a linebacker, but that boy, yeah, yeah that's that's how it's a box linebacker box. I yeah, think, yep. Because I'm be trying to us. call, I'm like, maybe you treat it like a Mike Hilton. Like, yeah, but I don't. Yeah, treat it like that. Yeah, it's. Yeah, let's blitz, let's cover. You know it's coming. Yeah, if he's there, you know, you know what it is. Yeah, you, you know, know what that, that is. Nickel fire is coming. Yeah. Get ready for it. Facts. You know it's coming. It's less about <laughs> tricking you. It's more about can you stop it? Yeah, yeah. I'm not here to play can you stop you it, bro? You know it's coming. You know it's coming. <laughs> oh, that's funny, bro. <laughs> Block it. You know it's coming. <laughs> but I don't. I like your. I I always. I'm always gonna love the ball. I like that LSU defense. Like I like. <laughs> I, you know what I mean? Like, I like LSD defense. Like, they, I don't know. It's like, I, I watched them dudes before, but, like, I, I, I don't think Jamal is what they want <laughs> that back there, you know? Yeah. I think they still want to too high everything. I would agree. They, that that changes wanna, a lot of what you're trying to do yeah. if Jamal is here, man. Good they player, but just different the, scheme, man. They want to show the too high and move from there. Yeah, because everything be, is predicated uh, off of that right now. We, we love Tomlin that Tampa too, too high, bro. Too. You know no, it. Yeah. Too high guy. So it's like I know they're like we want to be in too high. Yeah. So I don't. I you don't. That's not back there. You know. I guess no. One of the questions is how does Justin Simmons feel about Russ? Oh, because they were yeah, out there they were, together. They were teammates. Yeah, that's right. They say he was a bad I would, teammate. It, I would, I would assume TG things was are saying. good if he's actually interested in coming to the Steelers, though. With, with the Ooh. streets saying out there, TG, I know you got your ear to the streets, man. What they talking about, man? I think Russ. I played with Russ. I that's think what Russ I'm saying. Was a dope, What's Russ up? A dope teammate. Like I think Russ was cool when I played with him. You know, when I was there, it was yeah. in the midst of it. The future drama. So it was kind of like talk, hey, talk, talk about it. Talk about you it, bro. Know? Yeah. <laughs> That future, but future not. It's not the summer. And, of and, time, and, and we and we talking future the artist for those that don't know future yeah, the it's artist not hot right now. Like, in it Sierra, hot. it's it's a it's a tri- it's not a love triangle, but they they co-parent. All right, and Russ is involved with it. So yeah. When Purple Rain dropped, there was a time and you had to pick a side if you was a part of Seattle. You either bump in yeah. Purple Rain or you don't yeah. get to bump Purple Rain. So like, everybody knew what that was, bro. Room, yeah. We played the Purple Rain on our, you know, I stayed in the part of the Did neighborhood. Did you play that? Like bro, you like, are you know out of go. pocket, boy. You know, Whoa. You know how I go. Bro, you know the Carolina know Panthers know played know. Purple Rain nonstop all warm up when Russ came to town for the championship game. You he do can, know that, right? That a lot. You, do you do know that, right? That all the time. Like, you do know that, right? Okay, they that was Purple Rain just on repeat. 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 But everybody, but that don't bother nobody because it was rough. It, it was in dope. his future, it's hard, yeah, it's like, bro. Man. It's hard. <laughs> but that's our quarterback now. We can't rock that. I can't. I don't, yeah, I feel it. Am I not but allowed to play saying, future right I, now? We I'm gonna still play Seattle. my future. But I'm still bump my future. I, I'm sorry. No, we was rocking it in Seattle. You don't uh-huh. have to cut it off. I'm saying he wasn't that. tripping. Sorry. Was he tripping or was he tripping? No, he's super dope. Russ is cool. I think Russ is cool. Russ is just Hollywood. You know what I mean? Respect. Like Russ is just Hollywood. He's, he's, a, he's a starting franchise quarterback in the NFL, bro. They all if you get to that level, bro, yeah. They're not all Hollywood. No. A lot of them are Hollywood. Yes, they are. When they get to that I'm level, curious. yeah. What do you hold no. on? What do you mean by Hollywood? Because he that's comes what off I'm trying as to like, listen, bro. Yeah. like Christian, like when God I, guy. You when I say I mean? Hollywood, Church I'm guy. talking about just a big Russ. presence, a big okay. impact, cool. a lot of pomp and circumstance because the yeah. franchise quarterback when Russ, he walks like, in here, everybody's like, oh. Yeah. Russ is gonna bring his trainers in there. Right, Russ that's big time. That's so. Yeah, if you're Russ, a franchise quarterback, not touching Russ only his tight. Like he's like, mm-hmm. he's, that's like a print. That's like a a a, a, a Rolls Royce. Like everybody doesn't get them. If like, you're a franchise quarterback, how many franchise quarterbacks have we seen? Yeah, like we talk big Ben. Big Ben is a franchise big. quarterback. Like how many franchise franchise, like, hey, franchise like quarterbacks? Yeah, like, bro. Like, like these are gonna be right. here. Like, bro, like, that comes with them like, type of dudes, bro. Yeah, yeah, it's only like five or six even in the league. That's like, what I'm like saying. Aaron, that comes like, with bro, them, man. Like, yeah, like he's in that count. He's like with Drew Brees would yes. be. Yes, yes, like, bro. Yes. Yeah. So it's like he might bring some stuff that's like, like he might go. I'm curious. I was just wondering that. Like 
does he have his own area in the, in the facility that like don't don't they, this is this is the funny part like we typically don't but yeah. this is the hybrid because he's getting one point two here, but he's still a forty million dollar quarterback. Yeah, like are we even gonna That's get a what press we gotta remember? You know what I mean? It's like yeah. he getting one point two, but he's still tapping in forty. You know what I mean? Thirty nine, whatever. Like, like, like yo, yeah, that's a forty million dollar quarterback. That's a forty million dollar like, quarterback, bro. Like, like don't get it twisted. Yeah. Like, print. Yo, you have to like he's one of them guys. Forty like, million. He's one of them guys. If he changes his number. Like oh. Nike has to change a lot of stuff. Yeah, they like, go. Nike gets like, upset with those guys when they switch yeah. numbers. Yeah, they make like, them have to pay to switch their number, bro. He's one of them guys. Yeah. Like, if I can't get three, I can't come there. Yeah, like, that energy. Yeah, yeah. like my certain brand players. is too hard. Yeah, certain for players. Not to be three. Yeah. Like he, you know what I mean? Like he, yeah. he feels like one of them to me. Like facts. Like it's just facts. It's, it is like I am. <laughs> I'm, I'm brothers. You know? Yeah. No, that's facts, bro. That's facts. I, like he, he, that's a lot. That's a big. Yeah, thing. And I, I, th- I think you might be getting a good combination of him, where you know he still obviously believes in himself, but he's gonna have that chip on his shoulder, and he's coming yes. in like humble. He's coming in to compete. You know, the one point two million bet minimum, that all that stuff is surrounding him right I hate now. That word. Yeah. What? And I, I, I just hate to compete. Like I just. It's it's being word. thrown out there. What I mean, that's what he's that's what's out in, there. We can only go off what's out there. Like I feel like he's coming in to win Super Bowl. Like, be, no, I get that I'm feeling too, like, especially with how he's you know talking no, about Steelers saying, stuff like, on look, Twitter. Look, like, look, hey, it, hey, TG, he, he does probably stuff, feel like, like this is team. He got to handle this first. I'm like, no, he's coming to like Super Bowl mentality. Like, I'm coming to win. This is this is how I look at it. When you're Russ. When you're Russ, you say what you need to say publicly, but we all yeah, know this is know Russ's is. team. Going now I'm not about forward. to sit here. I'm not about to sit. You on think? The tell me, do you think still still a nation wasn't content with Kenny Pickett sitting behind Mitch, and they were booing Mitch six quarters into the season? What do you think would happen if Russell Wilson is standing over there on that sideline and Kenny Pickett is out there for six quarters? Come on, bro. What are we talking about, man? You thought they was tripping. You thought they was tripping for Kenny? Man, they might burn the stadium down and wrestle the sideline right. watching Kenny start this thing out, man. And you got Russell Wilson on your team. Yeah, it's they gonna lose their mind. They lose their mind behind it. But it is competition though. Because technically they said that. So just just roll with it. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Just competition, man. Hey, we just drafted Ryan Shazier, but all y'all inside linebackers, it's a competition, it's a competition. With, with Ryan Shazier, all right, for who's going to be starting. Even though I'm looking at the walkthrough, and it's the first day of walkthrough, first day of walkthrough, walking it's the first intro of walkthrough, first install, we all competed, but Shazier, he just got he fresh off the flight. That's the first one. Like, I thought y'all said it was a competition, boy. How'd that man. work? <laughs> said, wait. Oh, okay, competition. I got you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, all right. You know <laughs> if you know, you know. Anywho, if you know. Anywho, man. You know. <laughs> you know, you know. I like it though, bro. I like it. Um, trying to think, man. It's, it's crazy out here, man. Cause it's hey, so hear- much. It's, yeah, bro. It, it's, it's crazy out here. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. But I just looked. I'm like, bro. We already been over for an hour plus. So it's I'm like, crazy out here. Yo. We got a lot it's going crazy. on. This Tyler Boyd People thing just... might be uh, legit, though. Kaboli even tweeted about it. Yeah. Said there's mutual interest. I just see Tyler Boyd. Tyler Boyd on the Steelers makes all the sense in the world. I think me. that's like, some leadership stuff, mm-hmm. too. Like, not only can he still play, but, you know, a little mentor for uh, Pickens. Mm hmm. I, I don't think that well, hurts at all. I still think you, you still want to bring in another receiver, I think. You do. Big speed, I playmaker, whatever. But I think I think Boyd would make sense here. And you take away another think... option from. Cincinnati, yeah. I think Boyd makes a lot of sense. Mm-hmm. Like I never said, I don't. I think that makes a, lot, a ton of sense. You know what I mean? Like he's from Pittsburgh. Yeah. Everything about him is Pittsburgh, and he's familiar with the conference. Yeah, a little Steeler discount, yeah. hometown discount too, maybe. No, I don't think he give you that though. <laughs> you don't got to get the discount, man. You got Russ for one point two. When you have yeah, one point two at that position, you, bro, you won the discount. You're good. Yeah, that's the discount yeah. of all discounts, man. I do that, and that's the thing. What you're saying, yeah. that's the discount of discounts. Right. This is the cheat code. Then that's why you we know? gotta hit while we can. But that's the cheat code. Yeah. Them dudes don't come on rosters for 1.2 million dollars, man. Not at they this don't. stage. They don't. 
not Russell Wilson's. Right. Five years from now, different convo. But right now, it's like, nah, that that ain't one point two. <laughs> not Russell Wilson. Yeah. <laughs> that's Russell Wilson. Yeah. It's like that's Russell Wilson. That's, like you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, not to even be like that, but it's like that's one of the faces of the NFL. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like that's one of the, mm-hmm. when they playing games and like this is how I can explain it to me. Like when they playing games in London mm-hmm. and in Mexico, they think about like mm-hmm. Russell Wilson. You see what I mean? They that's think about yep. Uh, they think about uh like Pat Mahomes. Mm-hmm. They think about like who can we go over there and sell? Who can we go over there and talk about? Who yeah. can we go over there and people over in this country know who we're talking about? Yeah, you know. So it's like that's. That's a superstar. Yeah. You know what I mean? It brings value to your team, too. For one like, point. Man, it's going to bring value to the local economy, bro. Come on, man. Yeah. It you makes, got Russ I mean, here. Everybody trying to pull up even more now. Yeah, they want to see Sierra. Say, like, you don't think the ladies want to see Sierra in the stadium? I, man, I've seen on, people. Bro. Like, man, I'm definitely see Sierra going now. to the game. Yeah. Lala's coming to the game. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it brings us. Any uh, of Sierra uh, homegirls pull up on her, bro? Like, Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. what I'm saying. It brings a level, level of superstar. That's why you're getting trendy. No, th- like this is that it's, type of presence. Yeah, yeah. Seriously. It is that. Why? It's yeah. Much, you know, <laughs> seriously, it is bro. That. Like, you it gonna start that. to see it even more. So, like, oh, dang, they up here for the game. And, yeah. they, and it's a movement right now. As much as you joke, like they're showing that Sierra, they're showing mm-hmm. that Taylor mm-hmm. Swift, they're showing that. Like, you see they what's like up? That. Like, you see what's up? Yeah. Because it gets the lady like, demographic. It gets, yeah. it gets another demographic. Absolutely. And it's like now, look what she's wearing. We can sell mm-hmm. this. Like merchandise like it just that's yep. a big thing when she pull that's up with a, her Steelers whatever jersey to support yeah. Russ whatever yeah, it looked like sell. people gonna be saying how do I get that where can I that's find something sell. like that bro yeah, whenever she works like, to the games it's gonna be a large amount of ladies that are gonna be yo I like her Snoop style I'm gonna like concert, that yeah. he's gonna wear a Rush jersey up there like, <laughs> you know what it is too you facts. know what I mean like, <laughs> like it's like that's, that is facts. that's Rush that is like, facts you know that's Rush like yeah. that's a that's a fish. Without a doubt, bro. Sorry. Without a doubt. <sighs> I like it, my broski. I like it. But we all going to have to go ahead and get ready to wrap this thing up because, you know, I got my birthday tomorrow. Right? So I got my birthday haircut coming in here tonight. I got to okay. be fresh. You know how it is, bro. So I'm trying to stick to somewhat of a sc- Bro, I-, I called up yo guy. You know how I go, man. I was like, yo, TG no. said, can I get a birthday cut? If that's cool with you, he going to pay you for it, though. Bar, you know what I mean? Yeah, you try what, $1,000 for your cut. I know how you do, man. You big time, big time, bro. You like yeah. to pay 1500 for a cut, guy. I just see that Come on, uh, man. I know how you roll, man. You and AB, y'all got the same barber, man. All right? I just try. I want to be like you when I get older, all right? Uh, hey. But e- either hey. way, man, you already know we're going to spend a block like we always do. But appreciate hey. you as always, man. My dog. Already. Peace. Shout out right there to one and only TG, Terrence Garvin. If y'all was enjoying the convo, hit that like button one time for the coach. And don't forget to subscribe. If you are new to the channel, man, like we said on Wednesdays, we always are joined by our cool but very unique partner, TG, former locker mate. All right. And yeah, we never know what the audio is going to sound like or where he's going to be at. It's have talked to him after why he was coaching a flag football game before yeah he's traveling somewhere but that's tg shout out to the homie all right super it up man run through these and uh yeah that'll be how we ended up today man all right all right juby 28 says rest in peace to gin and juice Dang, big facts no more gin and juice it was fun while it lasted though for those that don't know that was deontay johnson and uh George Pickens' nickname, Gin and Juice. Yeah, looking back, I don't even know if the ten deserved a nickname. We were premature, like we always are with the nicknames. Mapletron. Pierre Island. I think uh I think Deontay started that one though. Yeah, I think so too. Because he was always been juice. Deontay. He's always yeah. been juice. Yeah. Hassan T nineteen eighty nine just Gifted five months memberships to Yinsberg, Alex Papa Michael, Jonathan Stevens, Yusifi, and Metal Militia 99. Shout out to Hassan, Rockstar, Light Panic 4. Greatly appreciate you. And to those names that D just said, welcome to the upper room. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. And peace out to you, Mike Hood, man. I hope you have a great night at church. Send a prayer up for your boy. I'll be 36 tomorrow. All right. One love, one love. 
Thoughts on Lad McConkey, uh, Luke P asks. Now you know I love me some Lad McConkey, man. Um explosive athlete, fast as heck, very, very refined and just high level route runner. Catch the football. Uh yeah, I like his game a lot. I wish we would have a chance to get him. I just don't think we're gonna have a chance to get him, but I definitely like Lad a lot. Neither he has pro day today. I wish I caught what he ran. I missed it. Right when I turned it on, he was doing like the interviews and stuff four, like three, that. Four three or four four. I yeah, think. but I'm. It was, did he? Was it, you said he did run four three? It was a four three or four four. Like I'm like, man, range. I know he could fly. I was like, I wanted to know like what it was though. I yeah, it man. It's it's around there for sure. Because like I said, I like him a lot, man. I like his game a lot, man. And when you talk about just coming from Georgia, you can never have enough of them dudes on your team, as you can tell. We like Georgia players, man, because they come with a certain four four three. Four four three. All right, that's what I'm saying. Plenty fast. Plenty fast. Um. And he actually understands how to utilize that speed too. I know that was some of the debate I've seen come up about the four three nine official though. Uh, that was the unofficial. Okay. So four three nine official. All right, I like that. I like that. But what I was saying was, um, because some people they talk about the whole debate of the forty yard dash and the Xavier Worthy, and you know, do you move him up because he ran so much fast in a straight line? And you know, people have been back and forth with it. But the thing that I was saying with Lad is he actually understands how to utilize that speed in terms of running routes, getting in and out of his breaks, lowering his level, and that's what makes him so much more of a weapon with that speed, man. So yeah, I love me some Lad McConkey, man. Absolutely. Next. John Wright. No, no, no. I'm sorry. This is uh, Let's Go You Dub. Shout out to Let's Go You Dub. DJ trade is the worst trade deal in the history of trade deals. <laughs> if we're not big fans of Dante Jackson, I could understand why that would be the perception. I would just say, man, watching him on tape, we are going to like him. I think we will like him in our defense, um, especially with us already having a JPJ. That's going to be very familiar for him with he's already coming out of with J.C. Horn. And he'll be healthy because he's another year removed from an Achilles injury that he just played 16 games in this past season anyways. So with that, it's like still feel good about everything with this direction. Did we get the final details on what they did with his contract? Because I know we said they were doing something with his, right? Who? Uh, Jackson? Yeah. They're talking about a restructure. Gotcha. Which would, you know, open up cap space for the now. But I, I'm I didn't trying to see figure anything. out how we restructure with only having this final. Uh, it, would be, deal. it would be an extension. Oh, I was That's gonna say, yeah, I mean yeah, you gotta give yeah. him along, yeah. John Rye. Pitt can't hang with KY. Kentucky? Is Kentucky even good this year? Ooh. I'm being, this is an actual They always question. got like first round. They always got I like get after that, this, but yeah. I think they've been down. Coach Cow's still there too, man. Yeah, I think they've been down. I'm I'm kind of curious. Cause yeah. that's... So while you're doing that, I'm going to address this real quick because I saw uh, Matt McAllister. He says, J.C. Horn for Deontay Johnson was a way better deal. Yes, no, but... No, Kentucky's top 10. Respect they're, they're to Kentucky. Nine. All right, they're, they're kind of decent, but we could beat top 10 teams. That's what I'm saying. Respect, respect. Pitt's got the talent. Respect. But what I was going to say is this, uh, Matt McAllister, um, I feel like if it would have been the J.C. Horn for Deontay Johnson... I don't think that we get the upgraded back end pick. In fact, I think we probably lose out the pick part. I think we end up having to give them a little bit better of a pick just because JC Horn is at the sexy position, which is DB. But JC Horn is a, a proven guy at that position as well, former first rounder also. And we view a proven guy that can play outside corner like that just we. Those guys are valued more than the style of receiver that Deontay Johnson is. So that's the reason why I think if they would have went for J.C. Horn, we would have ended up having to give up a little bit more compensation. Whereas in this trade, we were the guys who kind of received that a little bit more on the back end. But in terms of the difference between Deontay Johnson to Dante Jackson versus Deontay Johnson versus J.C. Horn, I think that's kind of what we debated. But I think that's why we got that additional in terms of the pick moving up. That would have been the reason why. Which, to be honest, I wouldn't have minded if we would have had to give up like a late round pick or something like that to get JC. I mean, fair enough. We don't know what the ass was. Right. That's all I'm saying. Right. Because we know that the Steelers, yeah, the report said the Steelers did not want to put Deontay Johnson in the AFC. So if that's their mindset, then 
they could be looking at this like, all right, you're not willing to part with that, but hey, man, you're willing to part with this other corner who we feel can come out here and start. He's got 14 picks. He started every game that he's been in the league. It's a guy they were yeah. interested in, though, too, beforehand. Yeah. Apparently, we were trying to trade for him last mm-hmm. year. Yeah. So, yeah, I think this is a guy we liked. But J.C. Horn just would have been dope. Yeah. But it's like, yeah, J.C. Horn. Uh, I see people ringing up Sneed. I mean, some of these other big names, sure. But we know with the bigger name, the more proven they are, it's just a different conversation in terms of what we would potentially have to give up. Because even contract-wise, it's still a difference. Now, if you're giving up J.C. Horn... And you still only getting DJ back for this one year. If I remember correctly, JC still got more years in his contract, right? I think he's coming up on that fifth year option. Fifth year option, yeah. Yeah, but yeah, you're almost getting close to having to pay him though too. Yeah, which isn't a bad thing if he plays good for you. Mm-hmm. Craig Ellis, happy birthday, Moats. Mine was yesterday. LOL, I turned thirty. Salute you and happy birthday, man! Happy dirty at thirty one. Time for the culture. Let me get this one right here. Cole, Coley Lee. Or Kali Lee. Shout out to you. It says, hey, Moats, we have the same birthday. Hashtag birthday twins. Hashtag Mars babies. Pisces gang. You already know what it is. Man. Happy early birthday to your partner. Them. Mm. Let's get it in. You know the homie Steph Curry. That's also our birthday twin. March 14th, 1988. So you know we're going to turn up like we supposed to. Let's go, you dub. How do you feel about these RB deals and how it'll affect what we do with Najee and his fifth year option decision coming up soon? Um, I'm slightly surprised that, you know, the market has reset the way that it has to an extent, but at the same time, they're still the same characters that are getting paid. When we talk Saquon, when we talk Derrick Henry, when we talk Tony Pollard, all three of those guys have been second contract guys, or at least Tony Pollard was a franchise tag guy. Saquon Bark was a franchise tag guy. We said that it seems to be two classes of running backs. You got your McCaffrey's, your Kamara's, the dudes we just named that get them second deals, that get paid nicely. And then you kind of got this other tier where they don't get compensated as well. I don't know which tier Najee is going to fall in right now, man. We haven't done fifth year option just yet. No. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. We haven't done that just yet. And. Depending on how that plays out will determine franchise tag conversations a year from now also. Until either one of those are in play, I don't think that these type of deals have any type of effect on Naj because I don't know how they're viewing him just like that just yet. What we do know is in terms of how the Derrick Henry's, the Saquon Barkley's, um, the McCaffrey's, the guys that we've seen get these second deals have been viewed They have been viewed as elite tier, top tier, top five caliber type running backs, right? At some point in time or for various points in time. Austin Eckler back into that. And you look at his deal. He got got, got the lower deal of all of them. It was a two for 11. He got a two for 11. But that was like considered like the back end of what we deem like as a top tier running back. So if that's a two for 11, maybe that's more in line with Nash. Yeah. But I, I don't see so. Naj in a Tony Pollard, uh, the two for 16 that Derrick Henry got. I don't think we would pay him two for 16. I That's 80 year. No. Nope. I, don't, I don't see that. So that's why no, I'm like. Jacob's got yeah, 12 a year. Right. Although I'm like, you're not. Really, pay- it's, if you look at his number, it's almost like the Monopoly money Bell was talking uh-huh. about. Yeah. I think it's only 12 guaranteed. So right. first year's guaranteed. But, and then uh, after that, you can get out. Barkley got, what, 12 or 13 yeah. a year? His contract's a little bit better than Jacobs. But, mm-hmm. yeah, some of these guys got paid more than I would have expected. Yeah. Considering the franchise tag was less than what they're getting than paid Than what they right are, now. right. But the Monopoly money is also real because, like you said, are you really going to see it? They have outs. If they don't like what they're seeing from a production standpoint, they can go. No. I could. Good. Deke on the freaky today. Happy birthday, <laughs> Moats. Deke cutting heads off and freezing people and then losing the heads. And then, yeah, it was, yeah. He was on one. I like them deep thoughts, though. I like when you started off like that, bro. Mr. Army Life 55. I know I say this every year because I'm faithful to my Steelers, but, man, I feel something brewing. This defense is going to be something special, and with a capable quarterback and these weapons. I'm with you. I like. I thought that he had put OBJ at the end of it as well. I was like, oh, is that what, that, that what I see as well? You adding one? But no, man. And you're supposed to feel like that. You know why? Because we are going to do it this year. Why can't we? We're building it up. We're building the roster up perfectly and the cheap way, too. 
but cheap with like great, great returns on investments potentially, man. So I like where we at. AJ Martinez has joined the upper room. Shot at that's the that's AJ a Martinez. One. I thought <laughs> yes. he was always part of it. I did too. I mean, he, he deal him all. It maybe his counter reset. Maybe that's I mean, what it was. He is dealing some out. That, that's uh, what it was. That's, that's what it might have been. SD that's Ninja, what it might have been. John Easton, Brandon Clark, Tom Jade, and Yanni. AJ Martinez, welcome to the upper room. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. And, uh, AJ Martinez, appreciate you being a rock star like Panda for like you always do. Salute you and to all those individuals that AJ blessed. Welcome to the upper room. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Sean McCartney, depending on who you view as better, Wilson or Cousins, I can say Steelers got the best available quarterback and inside linebacker and free agency. And calm we mm -hmm. trust. And here we go. Absolutely. And a lot cheaper than uh, what Kirk Cousins had signed for. Shout out to Kirk, though, bro. Him and his agent, bro. Y'all undefeated. Twelfth wonder. Happy birthday, Moats. I just turned 36th on the 6th. Let's go. Gang, Let's go. Think DJ Trey was primarily because of his lack of blocking ability and leadership. Nah, man. Shout out to the Pisces gang and happy uh, belated birthday to you. Um, No, I don't think it was because of lack of blocking ability or leadership. I think realistically, you can make the case of when I say leadership, not in the sense of can he lead. I just think that they don't want George Pickens to see that type of vocalness. You can be vocal, but there is a way in which you do it. You can be upset with the current situation, but there's a certain way in terms of how you should voice it. And not everybody feels as, you know, inclined to follow that. And for some people, they don't. It's not like DJ is out the league. Let's let's not lose sight of he still has said what he said. He's still very much employed and going to make the money that he's going to make. And in a year when he hits the market again, he'll be employed again and get paid again. But the difference is the cause and effect of it. Instead of being able to play one place your whole career, potentially, you know, create this legacy, surpass, you know, the greats, the Antonio Browns, the Hans Wards. Now you got to go somewhere else and do the introduce yourself again create your own wave over there I'm not saying that he might not like it but this is just what comes from that style of leadership that he was implementing so for the team they could just simply be like man we've already had a receiver go through this phase with us and antonio brown we've seen what it got to we've had other receivers come through here and we just don't want to deal with that and i think that that could also be the case because when we talk about some of the names that we can name that at the receiver position that have been great talents, but at the same time became disgruntled or just was like they couldn't get out their own way. Yeah, we noticed it's got a little bit of a history. So I think that also that could also have been a part of it as well. And Zita, I just want to highlight the amount of experience we just acquired with our new free agent signing mm -hmm. should pay dividends when it matters now. 100%, man. Not only uh, at the cornerback position are you getting a guy that has started a ton of games in six seasons, you also get Patrick Queen, who's a starting linebacker, for an AFC championship game. You know what it's like playing an AFC championship game, man? It's electric. It's one of them things where you like, bro, this is just crazy. Like, every single thing that happens out there is just crazy. And it's like, man, this dude started in one of them games. He's bringing that over here. We think about how Landon Roberts, just the calming presence that he could provide at times, man. Because he's been in big moments, Super Bowls, multiples of them. It's a certain just vibe that comes with that and the same be said for Russ man Russ have been in too many big games man it's just a certain feel that comes with it man uh Caesar Leo Caesar Leo Caesar Lee's BK in the house is what he said yeah yeah we're Brooklyn at we're That's Brooklyn at hey Caesar Lee's Caesar come on man Biggie Brooklyn Small Caesar Lee's man shout out to Lil C's man Y'all shout out to Lil C's Lee's man well he ain't little no more he's still little but he's older yeah, that was Biggie's like it's his homie. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Yeah, shout out to the notorious though. Shout out to all my Brooklyn people also, man. Love Brooklyn, love New York. Man, I need to get back to New York, man. Love New York, love the city, baby. AJ mm -hmm. Martinez, save the Diggler. Eight is great, but three is bringing the real talent. We are Ooh. having a dance off <laughs> when we play KC in the AFC title game. The Swifts are going down. Sierra definitely dances better than Taylor Swift. I'm just throwing that out there. That's a fact. But Taylor is. Yeah, that's Taylor. That's about the only thing that she got. About the only thing. Salute to it, though. How'd you feel about uh, the middle part 
where he says eight is great, but three is bringing the real talent. Because uh, yeah. AJ said I, I that. Mean, Did you agree with that? Uh, yeah, I mean, I said Russ is going to bring an X-Factor element here. And eight being great, I, I can't even fully say that yet. I, I, I think he could be good. He could be great. But I don't think we're going to get that chance. It is what it is. I right. said 50 times uh, it is. before we signed Russell Wilson. I get the move. I understand it. And I'm excited about the move. Let's it's, get it. it's pretty much that simple. He's not wrong. Like, I think he is one of those people, when you bring him in, uh, free agents look and see and say, all right, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm a little bit more interested Let's in signing go. here. Let's go. I love it. I love it, bro. That's my stuff, man. What you mean? We on the same page. I, mean, I love it, bro. I love this growth. I love just the way that you're communicating, bro. Like, it's not about growth or anything. I mean, it's, it's growth, man, because no, it's, it's, it's a competition. It's just it's, it's been my take this whole time. I mean, it's a competition, bro. But I like it, though. Yeah. I like it. Uh, Justin Gordon, happy birthday, Moats. You share the 14th with Justin Jr. I'm the 12th. Shut up. Anyway, it felt like Omar was killing free agency until the DJ deal. He was good, never great, but <sighs> will be missed. Also, can be forgotten. This is also true. And we have a good history with bringing in certain talents and developing them at the receiver position. Now, quarterback play is a part of that, but we feel just in a good position right now with that, man. So, yeah, yeah, we'll be all right. We'll be all right. I don't think the DJ deal kills what Omar has been doing because we still upgraded on the backside. I don't, I don't think it's a bad deal. Yeah, we upgraded are, are the you, back end. Yeah, could you say it's a great deal? I don't know. I think you got to wait and see. Like, like if we replace DJ yeah. with Tyler Boyd and draft the receiver and we still able to right? fill out everything yeah. else. It might be the start of something good. And you still Getting got DJ your number here, two you know? corner that we think is going to be an upgrade over what we've had these past two years. Yeah, yeah, especially if they were, you know, fed up with the internal stuff that right. DJ was bringing. I'm, yeah. Like, that's almost like the Claypool trade. I was upset about Seriously, the Claypool bro. trade initially. I'm like, Seriously. we're supposed to keep these receivers to help out Kenny in his rookie yeah. year. But then the report came out that Caesars were fed up with Claypool and what he was mm -hmm. doing to the locker room and just Very the culture true. he was setting. It's like, all right. Whatever, that's fine. Very I, true. I don't Very like. True. I'm whenever that stuff comes out. Like, if I hear that player is affecting the locker room or the team in a, in a negative way, like off the field, yeah, you got to just get them. I don't even care what the cost is. I mean, yeah. you you saw what we did with AB. That's like, my thing. We tr we're about to trade him for a fifth rounder to Buffalo. Deke, if they it would, ended up being a third rounder to the Raiders. Think what we ate twenty million. Martavis, same we, thing. Yeah. I was bummed about the Martavis. I was really bummed about that. It was but, just bad time for him. It's a bad time. Yeah. Five years later, it's it's a totally different outcome for him. Yeah. True. Yeah, him and Josh Gordon. Mm -hmm. But that's definitely the thing. I'm like, after seeing the A-B situation play out in real time, I'm like, bro, how can anybody act like they can't get moved on from in Pittsburgh, bro? I'm like, they moved on from A-B, but A-B was A-B. Like, well, A-B was washed or declined. A-B was still A-B, and it was like, nah, we can't do this no more. Yeah, I was talking Cheer. about getting rid of Pickens Cheer, bro. Uh, end of last year. Like I was dead serious about it. Yeah, because it was dead serious. almost getting to that point. Yeah, because yeah. that could become like a cancer, that yeah. like a virus. That, that shit can spread. Like That's not the culture you want here. So to, an, to almost piggyback on that statement and what we've kind of been talking about, I could definitely understand why they wouldn't want DJ to continue to point, or not point, but to continue to be the example that Pickens is already showing glimpses that he could have some of that in there. It's like... You don't need this to keep growing up with that. You might want to have something that's going to put this in a different direction. I yeah. think Russ can help change this is this is mindset. I think it can get in that ear because it's established enough. It's proven enough. And you'll believe it because you've seen what it's done at other stops with other players. Yep. But when you got DJ with that in the ear, that could be definitely difficult. Yeah, right? like I don't think yeah, DJ was a bad guy for us or like no. a terrible example. I just don't think he was the greatest one. Yeah. And then, especially after paying him the mm -hmm. contract extension you did, I get you set your expectations a little bit higher for those Very type true. of guys. No, one hundred percent. And man. I don't think he did step up in that way. Yeah, on and off the field. Yeah, not right. not saying because yeah. TJ's a quiet dude, but you, you but don't hear any drama or any, any 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 little things pop up with him. His quietness isn't, you know, and you're getting with and you're negativity. getting deep yeah, with stuff out great of him here and you're right. out. Like if Deontay's out here getting 1,500 yards and 20 touchdowns. When Deont when A.B. was doing what A.B. did, that was the quietest four-year span in terms of 
the drama drama still quiet because you do what you about to holler about man that's doing what it's supposed to but if it doesn't then yeah it gets loud uh sean mccartney with the signings we have now what position do you see us addressing in free agency before the draft safety and receiver i still don't hate o-line you know i'm interested to see if we would tap into any of that as well because then that could really put us in position to go out there safety or even maybe another corner early in the first two. See, I pre- yeah. What I you pre- thinking, though, bro? I prefer- or not corner, excuse me, a receiver, excuse me. Oh, Xavier Howard's released. See, I could go get that corner. Well, this is what I'm saying. I, I, I would though. prefer, I would like to build up the O-line like we did with, like, Pouncey, DeCasha, the young dudes. If we Kinda could get like Justin, said too, yeah, if we could get Justin together. Simmons, Tyler Boyd, and uh, I don't know, maybe like a depth D lineman or something mm-hmm. like that. Am, am I missing any position? You might need another corner too. But uh, I just think I, I need a corner, bro. If you can get all those in free agency, I'm so good with just drafting O line, O line. Yeah, because we need rounds. a center. Maybe, maybe, you get, right maybe you get another receiver in the third round or something. But yeah. I mean, we're we're really going all in. So would it kill us to maybe trade up from the third to get another second round pick? Even no, it doesn't kill anything. And I think we're we're seeing right now. Like I said, we know their method. They want to have twenty two starters before the draft. That's what they're hunting for right now. We're getting closer, but at the same time, we create a little bit of an extra hole. Yeah, I don't even really like any of these centers out there that's, anymore. Yeah. The one I wanted is gone. Quisenberry, I was like, yo, that's the easy. Just take him with Russ and bring them both here. But And we like Morse. And yep. you said you wouldn't have minded him here yeah, I wouldn't have minded with him, no. Russ. Right. Because with you were Russ is way p- different. If it was picky. Yeah, with Russ, way different convo. Yeah. Yeah, we missed out on those guys. I don't think. Yeah, but at the time, the though, what, that but, good right what, now. Russ wasn't. Was Russs with us at the time? I thought. No. Yeah, wasn't. but I thought it, Mitch it was happened already like, done. I think yeah. it happened like bang bang, where we were talking with Russ. I think there were yeah rumors out there that we were talking with Morris too. But then we signed Russ mm-hmm. Sunday night. I think Morris signed with the Jaguars either Sunday night or Monday morning. So yeah. it was like it happened consecutively. Yeah. Um, Richard Hunt. Hold on, hold on. Let me get one, another one real quick. Uh, Cesar Leo. Shout out to Cesar Leo and the BK. Shout out. He also said Patrick Quinn and Landon Roberts with the fire emojis and said that's a bruiser. That is a definitely a bruising, bruising tandem right there because he said with Patrick Quinn, man, you're going to be able to pair him with a lot of different players, whether it's a thumper, whether it's an athlete, athlete. Like he can do a lot of, I mean, any of that type of stuff, man. So, yeah. Richard Hunt, just wanted to say thank you guys watching the show. Helped me chase my dreams. Got my dream job at FanDuel. You guys and this crew. Salute you, baby. Thank you. Let's go. Nah, man. We Richard. inspired that. Richard, man. How did we inspire that? I don't know. I'd like an explanation, but I mean, I'll take it all day. Well, you think about it. I, I we, need to hear about you this. Got, you got <laughs> big deep investments. You got sure. stack your paper. We got DraftKings as our major sponsor. So, you know, and we talk sports. So maybe that's it. And he just was like, yo, FanDuel was the way for him. I would, I would just love to hear how we inspired. Yeah, Richard, man. I, like, I want to hear the story. Drop, drop that in the comment, <laughs> Richard, man. We need to like, know this one. Seriously, bro. But salute you, man. And we are glad to like, hear about that you're rocking with like us, like man. Years ago? Yeah. Was it just consistently listening to us? You, you got I like wisdom? It. I don't know. I like it. Yo, Young. Uh, having dinner with my grandma for her birthday, March 15th, tonight. Then doing the six-hour drive back to Philly. <sighs> Going to save the pod for the drive later. Fair. Salute you, Yo Young. Hopefully, you are, whenever your drive is getting ready to start, Whenever you finally listen to this part of it, just know this your turbo boost, baby. Oh yeah, oh yeah, extra energy, Red Bull in your ear for you, young. Let ride, Mister Unlimited. There you go. We can't do it. I just wanted to give just, that's a little extra. I just for, that done. was didn't that was. We, didn't we agree? It was, it was specifically for you, Young's drive okay. home because he said he has a six-hour drive. So at some point he's gonna be at this part of the podcast, and I don't know where that is on the drive. I just wanted to feel a little like, oh, that was me. Like, that's all. that. I hope he felt the perk. Like, you know, when it hits, it, oh, you know. 610 steel 412. Respect. Titan respect. signed Mason on a one-year deal worth up to $3.6 million. Nah, did peep that. Did peep that. Peep that. And they got him a receiver, too, now. Yeah, good for him. Uh, What, yeah, Calvin. So he's Ridley and Shy. Hawkins down there. Yeah. Good for him. Let I hope it works out for him. Do we play the Titans this year? Uh, I don't think. You could throw five picks against us. Yeah, kill everybody else. Us. Yeah. Or, yeah, I guess late into the season, if any of your games start affecting where we are seeding wise or playoffs, I want you to do terrible. But outside of that, good luck. 
Hannibal and I know. Peace, Moats and Deke. Happy early born day, Moats. Spicy Salute season you. for me, and I think Raw Dollars the 20th. You better believe I'd like you know to know it's why game. it was okay for the Young and Kenny to have an office at the facility, but not for Russ. They did say that, huh? It was him and it was like yeah. a him and Minka collabed mm-hmm. one. Yeah, so I'll, I'll say this, man. It's not that it was a negative for Russ to have one. It was the manner in which it was created and went about. Think about it as just a, a overall philosophy versus a singular office. The office is not an issue. A lot of quarterbacks that are deemed franchise or QB1, they have a separate place for them to meet, for them to get their film undistracted and rightfully so because they have the mentally most taxing job on the field no i don't care what anybody says that is the most important the most mentally taxing spot because you literally have to know everybody on the field everybody so yeah they get that but the issue was Russ didn't just have the office. It's like, yo, you got your own spot to park at. You got your own crew that comes in here. You did the TB12, but the problem was with TB12, you TB12 hasn't had what we ever viewed as a decline. Think about it. Even New England, TB was always still TB. So it's like, yo, it's certain things that as a player, you're not tripping on when that guy comes in and he has his own staff, his own crew, his own this, that, that, that. You like well, where I Brady live with it is what it is. the whole time, right. too. Russ is coming in new and bringing all that. All right. But I'm like, even when Brady went to Tampa, it's still Brady coming over there. And within two years, you want a ring. Yeah. Russ first year in Denver, Hackett gets fired. And then it's like, now you got Sean Payton and it's the power struggle. Yeah. I just think as a whole, if you're a player in a locker room like that, bro, you're looking at this dude like, yo, you ain't done nothing here to be acting like you're that outside of them just paying you this money. And that could definitely create tension because at the end of the day, we all men. And it's like, bro, you put your shoes on like I put mine on, bro. What's up? That's to me what I felt like happened in Denver. I think that was part of that issue there. Seattle, you've heard TG speak on it. Seattle, he was out there in that locker room with him. He spent some time with him. I know other guys have spent time with him. You know, we talked to KJ Wright. He's talked about him before. A Hollywood quarterback or a franchise quarterback has certain things that come with it, but they all still speak highly of him in some fashion. Now, in terms of personality, that's a different convo. He's an acquired personality. Mr. Unlimited, we get it. It's acquired. But in terms of the play part, man, you live with the play part. But that's the whole thing in terms of the office, Kenny versus Russ. I just think that it was a different just mentality of what he was pushing in Denver. I think he'll still probably have some type of space like that for him. So he'll still probably have his own crew that helps him work out. But at the same time, I just think it's a, I don't want to say a dumbed down version, but a quieter version. It's not if the Steelers yeah, are serious about him right. coming in. I think here it's a way quieter yeah. version. I think it's way quieter. Denver, everybody, Denver was loud, bro. Yeah, he went to Denver. It was loud, loud, man. And it can't be loud and not winning to that extent with the production reflecting it. Otherwise, it's gonna turn like how it turned over there, man. Yeah, Hollywood nine three one says we're gonna be fire on Madden. Big and calmly trust. Big facts. I can't wait to that new Madden. Yeah, I, I don't know what Russ is rated, but he nice. Uh, he's definitely gonna be better. He than nice. Pickett in the game, and then yeah, uh, yeah Dante Jackson helps mm-hmm. with the speed. He's fast on the game. Yeah, Patrick Queen in the, over Come the middle, on, bro. That's gonna help as we well. We upgraded on so, the game. Yeah, bro. those we feel nice on. Those the are game. good additions. And you could bump James Daniels at the center and put uh, Nate Herbig at guard, and you still be straight on the video game. That's too. an upgrade. You can still be straight on the game, bro. Yeah. You play more Madden than me now. Bro, I'm so hooked. I'm take I love games, bro. I'm in, I'm, in t- I'm in my gaming era. I, I, don't, they say? I don't think I've played Madden in six months. I blame Lil, I blame Lil G. Now, hey, college football coming up, though. Oh, huh? you already know we hip. Come on, man. Are we doing that? Are we actually going to do one? I mean, it's on I, I me. Don't, I don't it's, believe it. I, it's I think on people me. will play, but I don't believe you. I don't believe it. Yeah, because you're busy, man. I'm talking about NCAA Dynasty. I don't believe you because you're Podcast a busy person, NCAA bro. Dynasty. You're a busy person right now, bro. I'll take Pitt to the chip. Nigga, how you stressed out smoking darts, man? Come on, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you over there talking about dang on Narduzzi, man. With paper tots. God, come on, man. Yeah, you don't want that in your life, bro. Don't do that. <laughs> you know, it would be lethal if we did uh, like all time teams. If I got like Dan Marino. Yeah, I don't want that. Tony Dorsett, Shady, Fitz. Yeah, my, my all time, we light. We're a little light all the time. <laughs> We're a little light. <laughs> I need current rosters. 
Darrell Revis. That's why I said I need current rosters, bro. We light. Our best quarterback. Aaron Donald. You see what you Tyler Boyd. Yeah, we, we over here. Best quarterback. <laughs> Do you want to go uh, Ben DiNucci, uh, Justin Riscotti, uh, Roddy Landers? It, it, it's, it's just different names, right? Just that ain't best receiver. Ah, who do you want to go with this time? You know what I mean? Like, you read up Larry Fish, I'm like, yeah, we don't have a Larry. Yeah. Mike Dicka. Yeah, you catch me. You see what I'm saying? Best tight end. Ah, Mike Cosse. Shout out to my dog. Ah, do I, do I go with, uh, do, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's, Oh, Marlo, I, that, yeah, it's just chat him, cheat him, you know what I mean? Ah, yeah, he ain't cheating, I, I don't, ah, this is rough, bro, this is rough, this is rough, rough, yeah, I don't want all time, I don't want all time teams, I'm good on that, bro, I'm all the way good on all time teams. Just would be, it would be interesting. Man. Dan Marino versus Pickett. Because I'm going to pull up Charles Haley, I'm like, yo, we got, we got Charles Haley, yeah, we got Akeem Jordan, it's Arthur Rose. It's like we That'd light. be sick. <laughs> no, it would not be sick when you bought the pre the name. You said Aaron Donald, bro. We'll, we'll give you, you a high rating. You, said, you were the Aaron, decoy. You said Aaron Donald and Darrell Revis. Got Hugh Green on that defensive line, too. Stop it. Leave me alone. You see what I'm I, saying? We might be a little weak at yeah. linebacker. Leave me alone. That's what I'm saying, bro. My, my, I gave you my best one, Akeem Jordan. He played seven in, seven years in the league, bro. That's my dude right there, man. Yeah. Then I gave you Charles Elliott. That's like my that's my big joker. <laughs> Charles him out. All right. I'm out. Hall of Famer, though. Yeah. He yeah. went to JMU. Yeah, heck yeah, bro. Wow. Go Dukes, man. Sean yeah. McCartney, DJ led the league in drops with Big Ben. QB play wasn't 100, but can't blame all on him. Who's he talking about? Well, I'm, I'll, I don't I'm going to blame Deontay for all those drops. <laughs> I remember witnessing him uh, that COVID year. That was, that was rough. Man, it's, it's just we always remember the drops and never anything negative about anybody else that's the only it's just it's real heavy-handed deke it's real heavy-handed on one side man it's seven dude <laughs> he gets the benefit of the doubt uh jay harris says you're in the upper room shout out to jay harris saying welcome to the upper room yes indeed yes indeed xavier tg hashtag bring back ab oh now, did you see? Do you see what he reported? So he's one for one so far on reporting news. Who? What? I, I, before I'm it's lost. actually official. What? Are you serious? Okay. So oh, obviously he oh, reported Lord. the Russell Wilson news before anyone else. He did. Yeah, it was like two days before. He oh, said he did. Russell Wilson signing in Pittsburgh on a one-year deal. Or oh, right. uh, he's got the receipts and everything. Okay, I missed this, then, man. Yeah. So he just reported today or yesterday. I think I think it was earlier today mm-hmm. that. Justin Jefferson to the Bengals is happening. Is he going? For T. Higgins. Well, I'm just saying, A.B. Oh. reported it. So All right. this either makes his credibility go through the roof. Oh, yeah. Or, I mean, if that happens, or now then, he's yeah. going to be 50 50. All right. If, if this happens, then yeah, credibility through the roof, man. Absolutely. <laughs> but if not, then I'm going to just keep progressing like I've been proceeding with life, man. Yeah. <laughs> you think A.B. is just. Throwing darts at a dartboard with these stories. I and, think and I think the same way ha- happens. I think the same way that you was trying to give credit to Jacob for uh, calling the Deontay trade two years ago. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and throw that one in that same one. So he yeah, just I'm putting that saw same the boat. Russell reports like I'm all putting of that us same and just assume, Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna make this call. He signs with Pittsburgh. Well, because if I'm gonna give credit to somebody, I'm looking at Ocho Cinco. Because when he said a little birdie told him that Russ was coming to See, Pittsburgh, he missed though on nobody, the Falcons but nobody had anything else to say about Russ coming to Pittsburgh prior to that one. That was the first one that we all publicly saw and even acknowledged. That was my only issue. I'm like, if anybody else would have had a report no, he or like, rumor. No, he like reported it. Yeah, he, he, said, said, I heard, he said, I've heard a little birdie. He said, I got no, a little no, birdie. No, I'm talking about uh, AB a. saying B like, reported it's a, it, it's it's a one year right? deal. Yeah, like, yeah, he said it was official. Right. Yeah. <laughs> He said, man, <laughs> get it right, man. Ain't that wrong with it, bro? No, I don't yeah, want that to happen. Yeah, is what I'm I saying. Like, I yeah, hope maybe yeah. CTE reporting is terrible. Yeah, I'm like, if I it's hope, right, like, we go find out. I hope his CTE network is the least credible thing out there, which it probably is. Yeah, but yeah, I, I, he's new to the game right now. He's one for one. Yeah, I, I just don't put a lot of stock in my mans. Like, I don't I, want I, Justin I like Jefferson fact, going to the Bengals. I like I'm the, a simple man. I don't can, want that can, to happen. Can, is it positive? I don't even know if the CT stuff is is a good network. I don't, <laughs> it, is it is it good energy over there? Before we shout him out, say it's good energy. I don't know. He, he, just, he does a lot of trolling and making fun mm, of people. All yeah. right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> he does that uh, along with, uh, I guess, just giving his takes, and now he's getting in the reporting game. Okay, okay. I, I hope it all work out there, man. Shout out to my. Hey, look. 
this is positive. I can get behind this for AB. Compared to some other stuff over the past couple years, I get behind this, man. I get behind this. It, it's not fully positive. Oh, God. It's, so I can't get behind it? No, nah, because like I it said, makes he's, me nervous. He's, he's definitely mocking people and making fun of people and trolling people. And, Fair enough. But then you have you have him reporting a little bit too. So but it's he, like he's a not mix of, physically hurting anybody. I just tweeting out shit. I mean, okay. it's 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 more of the same stuff he was already doing on his AB account, really. But now okay. he's he, now he's making it like a network, a channel, and I think okay. gonna start associating a podcast with it. We'll see. Yeah, I, I thought this podcast was supposed to happen like months ago, but it hasn't started yet either. Yeah. It's, it's, it's AB. Shout out to AB. Shout out to AB, bro. GF, does Mason win the starting job with the Titans? I think he gets a better chance there. I definitely has a better chance there. But I would also say Will Levis is a better. I think just, the competition. Just be honest. I think it's just, just going to be, be honest. I that's, think that's in that's, terms of the honest. competition, Will Levis is going to have, I think, a better chance in the fight than Kenny. I think that Kenny as a whole, <clears throat> I just saying, think, I just think his morale Kenny is down. Rush? No, I'm saying in terms of Mason versus Kenny, I think Kenny would have won regardless. And I kind of laid out why I thought that was going to be the case. But I do feel like with Levis, Levis is a confident quarterback. Kenny's confidence at the end of the season looked shot, bro. And then when we talked about all the dress, not dress. I thought it was good before he got hurt. I thought it was shot. I'm talking since we saw Mason hurt. come out there and Mason become the guy. And we started looking at the camera and it was showing Kenny with the bitter beer face. I'm talking specifically to that. I've never seen Will Levis look like that at the end of the year. Will Levis still look like he ready to get it out there and get it in. And now that's why I'm saying mentally you're fighting a different fight versus a Will Levis than you are versus a Kenny Pickett. Kenny, we're over here saying we hope he's going to rally and come back pissed off big dog energy. But we also said we could definitely see him taking the approach of, hey, man, I'm pissed off. I want to leave. Just trade me. I don't got that energy with Will Levis, bro. I think Levis looking at it like. I don't think he's that good. And that's. That's how you feel about him. That's cool. I just I think Mason can win this, yeah. I, the way that you have optimism about Kenny Pickett, I just have some optimism like that about Will Levis also. So that's Soft why I think for Levis. What's the difference between that's that's to me? I think they both kinda in the same boat. Except one's just younger. But they no, both, I, I, yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're calling that you think he could be good. Yeah, Levis. like I, I don't see it because he has some traits, and I saw him do certain things this season where it's like the same way we looked at Kenny his first year and was like, "Yo, it's not a complete product, but it did some things that made you intrigued about it going into that second year." Same energy I got for Will Levis. I'm like, "Yo, he did some things where I'm like, no, nah, I can't ignore that part." I like the confidence, but Mason is also confident because Mason is just coming off of a four-game stretch where he's played the best ball professionally that he has ever played, man. Slightly pissed off because he couldn't get the deal done that he would probably wanted to get done here. So it's like, all right, I'm going to take this three. It still ain't the number that I want because quarterbacks get paid a lot more than this $3 million stuff. But now he, get, a chance. he gets a legitimate chance, man. Good for him. And him and Levis, I'm like, bro, comp wise i'm like yo that's a perfect person to comp with because he's a big body statue like yo <laughs> think about it levis ain't about to be over here doing all this freaky running stuff and now we trying to figure out how do i compare apples to oranges no y'all both big body big arms stand in the pocket look pretty and cut it loose man this is your game so that's the part for me so i'm like i like it for him in that name man but i just think levis is a more like i think his confidence right now man at that position you got to be confident man you got to believe that you're the guy. I think for Levis, he just believes that he's the guy right now, man. 702, Yenzer, yo, Deke, screw the Kenny haters. They don't know he's about 18 months away from being an all-time quarterback on hey, destroying yo. YouTube one-on-ones. No, don't do that. Yeah, that's fine. They playing with your man, see? That's fine. They go too far. It's like, yo, no, they fine. can't just give it that's and fine. just be objective. They got to go and overboard you. They say, my man no, going to be with Destroy It on it's YouTube. A, it's, it's funny. It's funny. It's fine. <laughs> they like to play with your bed, yo. D-Rock then, when will the Steelers or Rooney open up the times and open the up the jersey numbers and allow Queen to rock six at the inside linebacker? Who, what's, who's number six? I know we don't do singles, but... I don't think we got six Is it six all time? We cut Harvin. Yeah. Uh... We don't have a six all the time. It's just the that's the I, Rooney I rule. I like the tradition. I'm not even gonna front. I kind of like it. 
Who put him in? 56 or 96? The then? problem is Melvin Ingram, yeah, screwed it up. He he pulled it off for hey, you. big boy, yeah. When you sign for three for 41, though, don't you kind of get to say that? If Melvin Ingram could get the single digit for what he signed for, Queen signed three for 41. I think it's got to be an inside guy, if anyone. It's three for 41. Have we given out ever a three for 41 like in free Cam agency? Cam Hayward wanted to be single digit. Have we ever given Make out four? Have we, who we give 41 to in free agency, in the history of free agency? Yeah, I guess that was the highest. Uh, That's deal. what I'm saying, bro. It's a new time, Deke. It's a new time. Yeah, I don't care if it happens. I don't. Uh, I'd be not against it. I do kind of like the tradition, though. I, like I, I think tradition it. Is, I think it is something that makes us unique. Listen, the tradition is awesome. I love tradition. I'm just into the messiness of I like a single digit. If you want to wear the single digit, because he looks fire in his single. Yeah, digit, Yeah, I think too, bro. It, he looks good I think in it. Does it, bro. make you look a little bit faster. And it, bro, you look way more athletic. Yeah, yeah. Like JPJ is rocking that five. All out right, there. it look way different. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, yep. it is different. Yep. You just look better. It helps your brand a little bit more. It's like when you want to look fast, you put high white socks on. Yep. It just changes. Like, whoa. All right. Isaiah Matoyer, would y'all prefer Julian Blackman or Deshaun Elliott at safety if they pick Ooh. one from free agency? And what Ooh. do you think about Jamal Adams? Isaiah, I like your energy. Now, we kind of talked Jamal Adams when we were on with TG. I'm not sure if you caught some of that convo. Not the biggest fan of bringing the best in the nation to our defense, but Deshaun Elliott or Julian Blackman, I like both of them dudes. Um, I think I saw it a little bit more with Elliott. I'm more familiar with his game. But Blackman is still a good player. Like, both of them dudes, I don't think you can go wrong with either one. I just prefer one of those two over Jamal. That's my only thing because I do think Jamal is a certain – style that you're going to have to play with him out there to get the full usage of him and i think it's some limitations from a disguise standpoint based off of what we like to do and how we like to show too high and dress it up that way it's almost like you got to work backwards show single high and then have him bail in and all it's just that's not what we like to do personally but i like his game though just get Justin he's physical simmons, so this isn't even that changes everything yeah Please. simmons just get him or cam yeah. curl those yeah, are, you can't go guys. wrong with them. You can't go wrong. That checks that off. But if not either of those two, I like Deshaun Elliott. GF, how about Mike Williams on a team? Yep. Good deal. Yep. He's a free agent. Mm-hmm. On a team, good deal. Listen, sure, anyone on a team, good deal. Any team, good deal is good. All I'm saying is when you got the situation we have with the 1.2 at quarterback, anything that you're going to spend elsewhere is going to be team friendly because – you're not even accounting for $20 million at that position right now. Think about as a whole with the quarterback position on our roster. It's, what, less than $5 mil right now? Yeah. Like, that's kind of crazy. Four. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's kind of crazy, bro. Yeah. What What did he get hurt with last year? He only played three games. <sighs> I don't remember, actually. Yeah, I'd be for it. If, yeah. if you get him for, like, less than 10 uh, that'd be phenomenal. Yeah. Well, yeah, what if you got Mike Williams and Tyler Boyd? I think we'd be kind of set. But he, uh, no, I, I've always thought he's though. a little overrated, but. Yeah, he is. But he's still good. Like, mm-hmm. you know, I joked about Claypool. Yeah. Like, this dude actually, like, this is what Claypool. Was supposed to go into. At least, at least be. Right? As the floor. Yeah. yeah. Like, all right. Because like, he's supposed to be better, too. And a couple that, touchdowns here. But like, that's, that's what me. Mike Williams does. But Mike Williams is supposed to be better than what he is, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. But. Like he's still good. Like, he he was actually playing good even before he got hurt last mm-hmm. year. Two hundred forty nine yards in three games. Yeah. Year before that, nine hundred yards, four touchdowns. Year before that, eleven hundred yards. How many nine games touchdowns. has he played the past five years? Like each season, uh, he doesn't get banged up too much. That's the uh, thing. I'm it yeah. was just last year. Yeah. So okay. from the start of his career, it was ten games, sixteen games, fifteen, fifteen, sixteen, thirteen. Okay. Then last year was three. Okay. So I ain't tripping on that. Less than less than ten. I feel like I think ten would be the number. You get him for ten, Tyler Boyd for like seven. I'm just kind of like I'm not Justin tripping. Simmons. I'm just, Omar Khan could pull this off. This is my thing, and if, I'm not tripping. If, really if, we, if we spend an extra mil or two, one place or the other, it doesn't kill us because of how cheap our QB position is. So even if it did have to get to ten for that to work. And realistically, we probably would only want to play eight for it. It's like yo, we don't. It doesn't kill us because of this situation that we have. Now, like I said, I don't know how long it's going to last, but while it's here, let's take advantage of it, man. Yeah. Man, yeah. take if advantage of it, bro. you want another big body receiver, take advantage Mike of it, Williams man. wouldn't be a bad guy to have. Yeah. 
Justin Gordon, Michael Thomas just got released. Did we get him for less than what DJ was making? Look, I used to love Michael Thomas. I just hate the fact that what about he stopped staying healthy. What about for a few mil? Bro, I don't think you understand. Like, I think this is the first year that I've seen him back since he got nice, nice. Like, I remember having a debate. Know, it was probably like three, four money. years ago, bro. Yeah, that's... Highway I'm, robbery. I'm nervous, man. I'm Not nervous. For a few mil, though. I'm nervous. I've seen you burn me. When you got the check, i seen you burn me, bro. Just yeah. a couple mil, though. Fire. But I, I've already seen you burn me. You've already done it. I, I know who you are now. I'm familiar with your game. But just for a few <laughs> mil, though. I'm familiar with your game, bro. I've seen how you get down. You're saying you don't, you wouldn't even, vet bro, men, vet you, men for Michael Thomas. Come okay, on. vet men, sure, but you play a nasty Three game, mil. bro. I, I, vet men, vet Come men, on. you play a nasty game, bro. <laughs> I've watched you work. You play a nasty game. I'm cool. What did he do last year? I'm cool. Nothing. First off, first off, Nothing. he's the slant guy, so people were feeling iffy about his routes, but he going to cook you off a slant. That's his route tree. He going to slant you up, slant you up. I could see that working with us, though. But y'all ain't want DJ. DJ could give you that. DJ could give you that. Bigger body, bigger presence. Yeah, though, but DJ Thomas. more available than that. Uh, I, I just don't so, trust him, bro. So ten I do games not trust last him, bro. year, four hundred forty-eight yards. I don't fifty-four trust him. yards a game. I feel you. I feel you. I personally don't trust him because I was banging I, don't either, the, I was banging the table for him, bro. For like two mil. I was banging the table over him, bro. But I don't. I don't trust him no more, bro. Two mil like, I'm good. Kill us. I'm good. Mm. Justin Watson uh, says competition. Bro, Gilmore. Go- oh, not Gilmore. Gallimore. Equals protecting oh, eight's fragile ego. All right, I can see some similarities with that comment. I can what? see some of that. In terms of the competition, protecting the ego. I don't agree with it all the way, but I can understand what they're implying. Holy smokes, bro. I just looked and seen. Uh, we probably got 20. like 10 more, 10, 11 more. All right, we're, we're all right. Up for it. All right. Let's see if we can get it done in five minutes then, man. Yeah. Get it in five. Jonah John seconds uh, getting Mike Williams. He asks, should we go after him? I'm with it. Go get him. For the cheap, I don't care. Yeah. For the right price, oh, go get him. Yeah, $10 million is not on the cheap, but I think anything $10 million or less. Just so you don't have to worry about it in, in the draft then. But if you didn't sign him, I'd, I guess I'd understand that too. My priorities are, well, maybe, maybe you just sign Mike Williams instead of Tyler Boyd. You could do something like that. Who would you rather I think, have I think, then? Eh. Would you rather have Mike? I'd rather, I think I'd rather have Tyler. I'd rather have Tyler I and then go get so. another piece. I think so for yeah. like that leadership stuff. Mm-hmm. And it's you more get available a, too. Get a Mike Williams in the draft. Yeah. But I think right now the priority should be safety. Safety in that third receiver. And maybe maybe a corner. Yeah. Something on the D line. Some some depth on the D line. Some cheap on the D line there. Force work seven. Dante Jackson has a weird contract. There's three voidable years. That might play into the restructure. That might have been what you was talking about then. It could be. Well, I think they wanted to extend him though too. But I don't know if that could I don't know if you have to extend him if the voidable years are there. But yeah, yeah I think they want to like push it out a couple years. Okay. Disperse that cap space a little bit. But I wonder is the extension in the true fashion of extension, right? Like yeah, or is know. it like just funny money extension? You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Because I'm like, is it the William Jackson situation or not? That's right. what I'm trying to figure out. Because William Jackson, we were excited about him. We're like, okay, you restructured. Are we about to do something where he stays a little bit longer? And then we literally never saw him. Well, either way, this should work out for the Steelers. Because uh, if we do do the William Jackson stuff, then, I mean, we'll, we'll be free to just cut ties yeah. next year. Yeah. But at least this dude's healthy and is looking like he's gonna play yeah. for this upcoming season. William Jackson, he came in with that with back, back injury. injury. Yeah. Uh, Gregory Collins giving us two bucks. Hey, salute you. We appreciate you from the heart. From the heart, baby. Zena and Bowie join the upper room. Shout out to Zena and Bowie and welcome to the upper room. Yes, right. indeed. Uh, yes, indeed. Greg Collins uh, says the same thing. Jackson has three voidable years. Maybe they use that. I can see that there. I can see that. Make them numbers work. Omar gonna make them numbers do what they do. But I like Skeeter the pickup though. Best name in the chat. Uh, he says, "Think Connor Williams is an option. He's a dog." Mm, okay, and turn some of that O line play then. Yeah. yeah, I don't know who he is. Was he with the Rams? Let me pull him up. I want to say he was with Rams. Man, Dawson got paid, huh? Heck yeah, he did. That's frustrating. We had a we had a franchise. He got a check check on bro. the team. That's the one bad move Omar Khan's made. That's the one bad move. But I don't even think I said this. I don't even think that was an Omar Khan move. I think that was a 
<laughs> Mike Tomlin always has Dotson in the doghouse, and let's get him out of here. Hey, I'm innocent, bro. I don't know nothing. I don't think Omar Khan was seeking Dallas. To get That's where he was Dotson at. He was in Dallas and, and then went like to that. Miami. Connor Williams, that could work there. That could definitely work. Let's go, UW. Lost arm and watch to New England. Not irreplaceable, that. but was a fine base rotational lineman. Yeah, mm-hmm. he was. The D-line depth is thinner than a skip Bayless comma. Ooh. All right. Uh, I mean, we got Cam, we got Joby, and we got uh, Keanu. Yeah, we need a couple guys behind them. Is Loudermilk still here? Technically, yeah. Where's but this will be his last at? year. Montrevis is unrestricted. Yeah. yeah, Montrevis is unrestricted. We have DeMarvin Leal still under contract. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we need, we need to sign another D lineman or two. Nah. But I ain't stressing over that right now. AJ Martinez, all we need is number 14, Mr. All World. It's your time to deliver a ring. No, big facts on that, man. Big facts. Big facts. Nanzito Motes, what's up with Trey White? Is he a possible option? The only thing Whoa. with Trey is the cost. Um, like I said, if you're getting him cheap, then I love it because he is a very, very tough-nosed corner that has high-end potential um, when healthy. He's a top five, top ten corner, man. That's what he does. The problem is he tore the Achilles two years ago, so this was the – he tore it at the end of that two-year mark. So this was like almost like a dead season for him coming back. Then he finally gets back at the end of it. That's, you know – kind of the big issue in terms of just where he's at with that but in terms of the number if the number is right then yeah i mean he's a good player it's the cost when you're coming off the achilles and yeah for buffalo they just can't afford him and what they were trying to do up there with the new wave that they got to go to right now man so yeah for the right number man yeah i think it makes a ton of sense but it has to be the right number because he's a guy that was paid to be the franchise guy and he can live that life but like I said, he just got hurt and they missed their window, man. But dude, I was gonna say, it is 705. So what I'm gonna do is this, man. I'm gonna take these pictures of these rest of these supers and hit it like we did the other time because I still see them coming in. They definitely still coming in. Well, I'll read this last one. All right, what you got? Colby what you got? Yeah. says, love the channel, by the way. We resigned Killer Boo for two years, six point five million. Mm. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Yeah. I like that a lot. Not two point five. You said it was two for five, or what was the deal? Two for six and a half, so that's a little over three. Shoot, man. Killaby worked that. Heck yeah. yeah, I like Killaby's him. definitely worth I that, like man. Him. I, yeah, I'm, he's I'm definitely worth that. Uh, what's he averaging? Like two block punts a year? That's Killabrew. Yeah, good for him. And he's a friend of the show, you know, so we definitely like him even more so. Yeah, I think that's a, a really good signing. Oh. Uh, I'll read. I'll read one here. Uh, Phantom what you got? TV. Lad McConkey equals Garrett Wilson. Oh uh, well. I, I nah, that's so. a tough. I was about to so. say, bro, you can't just throw that one. Out I don't there. think so. I mean, McConkey's bigger than. Him. He's bigger than Wilson. Wilson plays big though. Yeah. Maybe that's what he's talking about. That that might be it there. Respect. All right. Well, I'll let Respect. you go here. I'm not gonna. No, all good, bro. Go, man. I just didn't realize it was seven oh six. Like I said, I do. I got. Got a schedule I got to keep to at all. I got a schedule I got to keep to today. But either way. And happy birthday. I may salute you again, dude. Yeah. I appreciate you. Appreciate you wishing me happy birthday today. All right, man. Appreciate you from the heart. All right. But with that being the case, man, major love to each and every one of y'all, man. We appreciate y'all rocking with us today, man, and all the supers. And like I said, I've taken pictures of all the other supers. So at some point over the weekend, I will do like I did last time, man. I will hit y'all with a vid and I will answer all of these remaining supers. All right. So from the heart. Definitely appreciate y'all, all right? But yeah, your boy definitely got to roll, man. Got to go. So with that being the case, hit that like button on the way out. And don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, baby. Peace.